In this video, we'll look at a Karen who thinks she can steal from a Goodwill. You went into the dressing room with a bunch of clothes? I need, I need to get an attorney. A cop who tested his entitlement against a law student. New Mexico statute says that concealing of identity is a secondary charge. I would have to have been arrested or suspected of a crime. No. Right now, you hear you just hearsay. And a mother who abandoned her seven-year-old daughter in a parking lot at night for seven hours. Seven years old has been by herself with us. What on God's green earth were you doing? Or she's terrified and goes into the bar and asks random bar people to help and call the police. I have no idea, I'm sorry. But first, let's take a look at a family of Karens who decided to steal together. You're hilarious, come here. Come here. Put your hands on my back right now. Put your hands on my back. I already told you. What did I do? Let me figure out in a second, but why are you running through this parking lot? I was come looking here. for him, yeah. Sit. I told him I didn't have Sit. it in my bag. I offered to Sit. go. I offered to go back to South Park and he was like the cop down the way. Okay. Sit down, you two. Where's the other one? She's in the store. On October 16th, 2021, Florida officers responded to a call from a local Walmart regarding three women shoplifting. They fled through the front doors when loss prevention attempted to stop them. Fortunately, an officer was arriving on the scene just as it happened. And as you'll see in a moment, they wouldn't be too happy with their predicament. Look, so the reason that y'all are darting out, sit against the car, I please. I didn't start out, sir. The reason that y'all... Y'all all were supposed to y'all all were supposed to stay there yes. when they were talking to y'all. And then you decided you're gonna try and step off. The cops, so right. I offered to go back through the line to get a receipt and he said he was calling the cops, so I just left the cart and left. Because right. I don't I don't cops for what, you know? Charlie Forty Nine Central, I have two detainers, so I asked him if he wanted me to go back through the checkout line and he said no. He okay, then why is she cops. running? I was looking for her. I thought she went she, over there. She was, was right she behind you, stop. I wasn't run we weren't trying Can to Can you run. stop with the voice please? Am I speaking to you in a calm manner? I'm speaking to you in a calm manner. I've never been in trouble in my life. Can you stop messing with your purse, please? Just, just zip it up. I'm good with it. Which car is yours? What is Which car is yours? Um, it's a Honda. Where it at? Honestly, I don't even know where I parked that. I lost it? Yeah. Uh, you can take a seat with everybody else, please. Sanford. Sanford? Yeah. What's your address? Orlando. What brings you up here? I'm sorry? What brings you up here? Um, I live with them. Gotcha. That's just the address on my address. You can sit down. Chill, chill, chill. What about you? Take your hand out from under your shirt, please. You're bugging me. He's got two detained on a shoplifting at Walmart. The red-haired girl has offered many times to go back to the checkout to get a receipt, but that doesn't change the fact that she broke the law. She also doesn't seem to think that it's a big deal that she ran from loss prevention, just because she didn't want to deal with the cops. Does anybody have any weapons or anything sharp on them at all? No. no? Okay, let me see your bag real fast. Why is it all small denominations? What do you mean? One, I'm a dancer, sir. Oh. Yeah, I'm a dancer. Turn your pockets out for me? Yeah. Just put everything on the car. Let me see your bag real fast. You can put that stuff back in your... Actually, no, just leave it right there for a sec. Does it get or something? I don't know. I never tried to... <laughs> you just trying to... You just trying to find out? Yeah. Okay. Did you your phone down? No, he's not Okay. Right. Teach good. Turn your pockets. I don't got pockets. You don't have pockets? No. Nothing at all? No. Okay. Does anybody have any outstanding warrants? No. No? I just... I'm going to be honest with you, I just got arrested. Last year, I called transport repeat already. So I went to court and just got out. Okay. Why are you driving their license? I didn't, I didn't know it was something I had a failure to pay that I didn't know about. They were all together for this? All three of us. Okay. So what happened was... Shirley and I didn't get involved in the case. Like, this one right here. This is to me. She was buying a drink or whatever. That phone all filled out. The other two were standing up at the customer host with the cart, talking to the customer host in the front of the store. So... Once the other girl was done checking out, she met up with two, mm -hmm. and they all three proceeded out the door. The one with the pink hair was pushing the cart, but inside the store, they, they were all, all they three were of them all, participating. Yeah, they were okay. all putting everything in the bags. Okay. All right. So, this is what's up. Everybody's right now under arrest for shoplifting, okay? No one's free to leave. All right, Mom, you're going to take a seat inside the car for me. I don't, I don't think so. How many times have you got in trouble for shoplifting? Never? Alright, then you're not going to jail then. I've never been in trouble.
The officer does a good job of keeping the situation calm here, while also providing advice that most shoplifters don't know. If you've never shoplifted before, it's unlikely you'll go to jail, but not impossible. For each subsequent offense, however, the likelihood of you being locked up increases. We all have I don't want to go before. back in there. Okay, well, you can't be out here stealing shit, right? It's frowned upon, right? I, I, Can you keep your shirt down, please? Sorry, I offered to go back. It really was my that's not, that's not how, that's not how that shit works. I got me 1433. I didn't pay for it. I told him, can I go back and pay for it? That's not how that shit works. You know that, right? I'm under arrest, yeah, I told you all that. So I'm going to jail. What, what, what part of, okay. Yes. What did I just say to her? I didn't hear you, sir. Okay, well, I don't think that y'all are going to jail right now. Okay. But I'm going to run y'all's criminal history, okay. and if you guys I've have had, been, been stealing shit for a bunch of times, then that is kind of what it is. So now. So, you stopped. Why'd you stop? Because I had my receipt. I had just paid for my shit. I thought they already paid for it. But I was at the first register, like, when you walk in, it's... Make room for one more. We're going to see what happens as far as what all the totals were for everything and figure everything out. And then from there, we'll determine um, what's going on. The total before tax was 949. Woo! Yep, 949.94. Okay. Uh, 949? Do they want us to pay that? Mm, no, they. I don't think so. God damn. Why, why isn't it never just like one large item? <laughs> $949 is a very high number for shoplifting, and depending on the location, it can turn into a felony. From what the other officer said, that might be the case in this situation. It's a Honda that's over there somewhere. There's nothing in there. Well, our concern is a, a being, possibly being left here for a while, so. Um, Are you serious? Well, due to the, um, due to the amount... Now, now you see what you've done. So essentially, what happened is you guys sell too much stuff, and so now you guys have taken away my ability to be cool about it. Can we just pay for it? That's not how it works. Y'all know that, right? I cannot. I'm literally begging you. I have a one-year-old daughter. I'm 19. I'm, I'm empathetic to that, but at the same time, y'all stole a bunch of shit. I know, and we'll pay it. I don't even think we will pay it. Are you really going to take this to jail? Yeah, I have to. Please. It's a felony. Please. Please. I will pay Hold on, hold on. If someone, if someone did some felony shit to your family, you'd want them to go to jail, right? I understand. Please, we've never been in trouble like this. Please, can you just give us one chance? Please. I, you can have all the money in my purse. No, no, no. Y'all, y'all, y'all need, y'all need to stop. Because we're going to tread towards bribery, and I'm not trying to do it. Just pay, please just stop. Stop. Guys, please stop. All three women were trespassed from the Walmart and were charged with felony grand theft, which is punishable by up to 30 years in prison and fines of up to $10,000. Unfortunately, there is little information about what happened to them online, so hopefully more information will show up in the future. These women weren't the smartest and didn't really even try to hide what they'd done. In this next case, however, you'll see something unexpected because it's different to how cases like this are normally handled. I step out. That way she passed the points of sale, bro. That way we can have her for a stop. Unless I can get her with I mean, them now with her skip scanning. If, if, if she's skip scanning and she's putting stuff in the buggy, I mean, it's kind of articulated where she's... Oh, y'all good then? Yeah, that's all y'all need? She's putting it in the bags. Yeah, she's putting it in the bags, but okay. she's not skip scanning everything, just some stuff. Some here On May 26, 2023, Florida officers were called to a local Walmart after a woman was seen skip scanning some merchandise at the self-checkout. When the officers arrived, she was still in the store, so they went in to confront her, and that didn't go too well for her. Hey, ma'am. My name's Officer Biddle of Tassie Police Department. As you go, I have a chance on your bag. You're under arrest. Okay? Why am I under arrest? Uh, I'll explain it to you. Go ahead and put the hands on your bag. No, you need to tell me why I'm going to the jail. Hey, don't resist. Stop resisting. Hey, you resist. Take down. Okay. This whole time buying stuff. I have money. Is that the issue? Yeah, I know she has money. Do you want me to show you my debit card? Where's that? Oh, this is my Where did you get a damn phone at? Is this their buggy as well? This is yours. 
Okay, yeah, so I went and got another buggy to put the stuff in. We're going to go ahead and we're going to walk to the office over here. And okay, but can you stop doing so tight? You're embarrassing yourself. Yeah, and you're doing extremely tight. Like, like, you know, am I benching her under my authority? So I'm sorry, okay, but I, yeah, I'm going to give you the most highest respect, just like you're okay. giving me. But we're second. Give me some respect, and we're going to walk the office. This isn't up for the bakery to walk through. It's okay. I know. Wait, I didn't steal not, and I leave the store and do not okay. start stepping okay. out, though. We will go talk about the office. Okay. Cool. okay. How you doing, people? It's going to be okay. It's best to leave. This is nice to be. Stop. Let go. Stop doing it. Excuse me. Nope. I promise you, you're you are about to go to the ground. No, you're about to get in trouble and lose your thing. I know my rights. You're detaining me, and it hurts me. Okay. And there's no reason to you for you to be that okay. aggressive. I'm sorry if you have problems at home, but I ain't it. Man, what the fuck they think this is? I'm sorry. I don't know. This is all a part of yeah. what she was getting from. Yeah, you'll see a lot of crazy stuff. Oh, huh, and I'm getting arrested when I have $600 in my account. That's what blows my mind. It's funny that she continuously brings up that she has money in her bank account because the officers haven't told her what she's being arrested for yet. The fact that she's assuming it's for theft shows that she knows she was doing something wrong. Do you have ID on you? No, but you don't need my ID until you're telling me why I'm being detained. I told you you're being detained for, for what? Pending investigation of the shop. You're not giving me your name? No, okay. I refuse. So you're going to catch a resisting charge on top? You are resisting my rights. This is my rights. And I will be pressing charges, and I will be making a big ordeal about this. Let me go, please. For someone who claims to know her rights, she most certainly doesn't. She's legally required to give her name here, and not doing so will catch her a charge. Point. You are under arrest. How? Shoplifting. I never shoplift. We're not going to talk about it now. No, yes, prove to me how I shoplift. On video, you're shoplifting. Where does it show I shoplift? You skip scan. Come on, girl. How did What's I skip it? scan? Show me. You cannot arrest me. I refuse. You okay. need to call your boss. That's call your happening. yes. No, call please. your supervisor. Go to the car. You're going to call your supervisor. How are you going to tell me you can't arrest me when I didn't do nothing? No. Hey, If you will stop doing too much, you wouldn't be hurting. No. You're wrong. I didn't even steal. Let's go. Funny, I'm going to fucking circle. I just told you I didn't say nothing. You couldn't have violated me. Let's go. 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 let us go I don't know where you got the idea that this is on your terms, but it, it is not. It is on my terms because you're, oh, you're misusing your rights. You're misusing your privileges when I didn't take nothing. So what am I being arrested for? What am I being arrested for? As I told you, we tell that. Okay, can you tell me what I stole? Nope. You, you don't have nothing. You know you have nothing, right? From the presumptions? Oh my god, there's gotta be somebody that talks to you. This is bullshit! She's taking her anger out on the wrong people here. She was already clearly caught skip scanning. But if this was happening to someone entirely innocent, the police who are doing the arrest are not the people to fight. That'll just get you a resisting charge. If she's innocent, she should shut up, wait for her lawyer, go with the cops, and have the charges easily thrown out a bit later. Anything. Go ahead, get in. I swear to God, this is fucking bullshit. Like, Why are you guys going through my stuff? There's no probable cause for you to do any of that. Middle. Oh. You have a plus kit for her. That'd be a good scene. You guys are in so much trouble, I promise. You can't sit there and say I'm being arrested for possession charges because you didn't arrest me for that. Once again, that is not how that works. She is being arrested, which gives the officers cause to search her belongings, and they found drugs. They can tack a possession charge onto the list. She has, a, she has two perfumes and a pair of pants. She covers up the perfume with a pair of pants, can the pants, and put it in the bag. Okay. Like, we have, like, legit, legit. Okay. She didn't exactly get what she wanted in that regard. 
She was arrested and charged with petty theft, resisting, possession of paraphernalia, and possession of a controlled substance. Her sentencing hasn't been made public, but the officers who performed the arrest are still serving today. This woman took no accountability for her actions, and wouldn't even admit to what she was clearly doing. In this next case, you'll see people caught in a way that left no room for debate, and they were angry about it. On June 2nd, 2023, Florida officers were dispatched to a target regarding a shoplifting currently in progress. Store security had been monitoring two women as they concealed items throughout their visit. As you'll see, they didn't seem to take anything they were doing seriously, and they'd learned the hard way what it meant. Hey, which bag was it? The bag right there? Yeah, the beige one. Hey, is there anything in that bag? We should know some merchandise in that bag? Yeah. Yes or no? Why are you asking me? Is it your bag? Yeah, no. Is it your bag? Is this your bag? Is this your bag right there? No. It's not whose bag is it? Okay, we're not playing this game. It's ridiculous to say that she doesn't know who the bag belongs to. It's in her cart, but she's claiming she has no idea. She's grasping for straws. Yeah, we got, we got. Is Wait, that, that I, said, put, I, I said put your hands behind her. Put handcuffs on her. Okay. Yeah. Yes, put your hands behind your back now. Right, put your hands behind your back. Let go of the phone. Let go of the phone. Let go of the video. I paid for that stuff. We we'll paid for all that stuff. Okay. We'll the stuff all right, we'll, we'll figure out what you need to pay for. Step over here. Can I call my mom? Nope. How old are you? I'm 24. Alright, then there. How old are you? I'm going to say okay. Pay for the phone. Alright, I'll be right back. I'll get you guys a receipt. Give me a second. Can we just pay for the stuff? Can we pay for it? No. I didn't just pay for it five minutes ago. There's only a couple items we pay for everything else. We won't come back here. The trespassing. Well, that's definitely gonna happen, and then he's gonna go see what's not paid for, and then go for it's just the stuff in the bag. It's just the stuff in the bag. We pay for everything else. It's exactly. so fake. It's our bag. It's our bag. Both of us. We honestly just found it. Found the bag? Yes. Do you have an ID in there? Um, I think mine is in there. Where's your ID? I don't have one on You don't have an ID in there? How much is it? How much is that? Hundred and twenty six dollars. Hundred dollars? Hundred and twenty six dollars. What is oh. in there? What, 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 what was it? Oh my bad. All the stuff you grab. It was only a toy. It was only a Target's expensive. That's that's why it's one hundred twenty six dollars. Can you see the receipt? Alright, come on. We're gonna go in the car. You can see it. Seriously, y'all are expensive. Yes. It's highly unlikely that they didn't know the actual value of what they were taking. They probably looked at the tags, decided the item was too much, and put it in the bag. Like right, have a seat. You have a seat. You can call when you get when you get into jail, okay? Alright. Oh, picture of what? the camera. Are you? You're not taking a picture of me. Yes, you can. No, the f you ain't. For what? Hey, bro, don't grab me. Man, no, you, want, you want to get another charge? You want another charge? But you don't have to let him take a picture of me. I'm asking you to step out. No, that's what yes. the mugshot is for. Step out. I'm not. Step out. You want another charge? You're not going to let him take a picture out, of me so. without my permission. You want another charge? You're not going to let him take a picture get, of me you're gonna get without my permission. Can you step over here, ma'am? What is he taking a picture of me for talking? Come over here. A felony for what? I don't want him taking a picture of me. That's not legal. Yes, it is. For him to take a picture of me? Ma'am. It is legal for him to take a picture of her. First, there isn't even any law against taking pictures of random people in public. Anybody can take a picture of anyone they want in a public place. It might be socially frowned upon, but it's legal. 
In this situation, the loss prevention officer wants a picture of both of them so that they can tell if they come into the store again. This is, obviously, a normal practice. Step out the vehicle. You're just going to make things worse for you. I don't want a picture Stay, taken. Stake out the vehicle. I don't want a picture taken. Just take her. I don't want a picture taken. Like, take why? Ma'am. Ow! Ah. Look up. So. Look up. Both of these girls were arrested and charged, though their details haven't been released publicly online. Either way, it's unlikely that the $126 worth of clothes they took was worth all this hassle to them. At the very least, neither of these girls resisted the officers when they were being arrested. In this next case, however, you'll see someone resist and be shut down real quick in a way you can't imagine. You Here's the boss, my right. policeman. Let me talk to him. Stop. You're gonna catch an additional charge. You fight with me. You understand? Stop. Please don't grab me. Don't grab my pocketbook. On June 10th, 2023, Florida officers responded to a call from a local Goodwill regarding a woman being aggressive with employees. They had confronted her regarding suspected shoplifting. She wasn't going to go down without a fight. Have a look. Please unhand me. Let go Please of the purse. Please unhand me. Un You're hurting me. Listen to him. Stop. Stop. You're, You're going to catch a felony charge. You keep fighting with me. You understand? Stop. I'm not going to tolerate the crap. You're hurting me. Just You're hurting me. Yeah, stop. Please. You're stop. hurting me. You're hurting me. Just give, Please stop. give us the camera for a second. Stop. Relax. You're hurting me. Stop. 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 Police officers are allowed to use reasonable force to detain someone who is resisting them. In this situation, however, there is quite a bit of controversy surrounding how rough the officers treated her, especially because of her age. She was actively resisting, but many still believe he should have been easier on her. At the same time, others have said that they enjoyed the no-nonsense attitude of the cop. Okay, we're gonna stand you up. I'm gonna sit you in a car so I can do my investigation. Double lock. One, two, three. This hers? Yeah, just leave it off here. Go throw her in a car. Sure can. That way. Walk. So what happened was yep. uh, saw her. Uh, that's her. She bought on her dress. She's she's she selected a bunch of items. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she went in the fitting room with them. Came out without them. Hung up empty hangers. Um, they're in here. Everything's in here? Yes, yes. Okay. Oh my God. Do you have anything on you that you shouldn't have? Oh, yeah, I don't move. Yeah, I really didn't want to call you guys, but You're she, fine. she was... Uh, she is what it is, so she's going to catch the retail theft and the resisting. This is hers. All of this is paid for? That's uh, that's paid. Yeah, it's one dress. <laughs> See, there was a pocket on that side. Right. Go ahead and sit down in the car. Have a seat. Bump first. Have a seat. Inside the car. I the can't seat. get inside yes, the car. Yes, you can. I won't let you talk. There you go. Do that. Ow. All the way, watch your foot. All the way, watch your foot. <laughs> the reason I showed up so fast, did she hit you? Well, we came back here and, and she, she, she she didn't hit me. No, no. She was resisting. She grabbed my badge, <coughs> my uh, law prevention badge. Okay, here, here's the charge. Okay. The, the charge would be resisting a merchant. Do you yeah. feel that she oh, was yeah. resisting? Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, that yeah. She, she yeah. was attempting to leave when you said, hey, I'm loss prevention. I work for yeah, she, when, Goodwill. When we had when we were back here, she, she she's like, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, you're going to go to jail. We're going to get your license plate number. So, okay. Yeah, she, she, very, very violent. We'll talk about everything in just a second, okay? As long as you're not injured. That's what I wanted to make sure of, okay? I know. I heard from where he knocked me on the table. Who knocked you on the table? The officer. Sure did, 
<laughs> I didn't do anything to okay. make you do that. Do you need medical attention? <laughs> Ma'am, do you need medical attention? It's a yes or no question. I don't know. Okay. Go ahead. Watch your knee. Watch your leg. Just go ahead and call, call him for just, just a precautionary. Okay. In situations like this, with the suspect being older, medical assistance is often called in regardless of the situation because of the increased risk of injury. In this case, it's very unlikely she needs help. She was bumped into a table and brought to the ground, but there wasn't any serious bodily risk. He's going to my purse? Yes, ma'am, because you're currently in custody. You don't know what any of that means. So. Uh, you're going to jail, one, for resisting a police officer, uh, and two, yes, you did. You obstructed our investigation, therefore it's called resisting an arrest without violence. Uh, and then for the, for the theft of whatever you took. Because that's why we we're out here. Allegedly, you took something. But I'm not the one doing that investigation. That's Officer Asbury. I'm going to ask you in reference, I'm going to ask you questions about what happened today, why I got called to the Goodwill. So it's, it's a yes or no. Good. It's a yes or no. Do you want to talk to me or not? I need to call my other half first. You're not going to call anybody. You're currently in police custody. Okay. So it's a yes or no. If it's a no, I won't ask you anything else. If it's a yes, then we'll have a conversation on why, why I'm here and why you're in handcuffs. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm not sure what to do, sir. Do you, do you want, sure to, do you want to, to talk do. to me knowing that I'm you can have sure. a lawyer present or not? That's basically the question. And what happens to me if I want a lawyer present? Then I stop my question. And what happens to me? Mm -hmm. What happens to me? I go with everything that I've already seen transpire and what the loss prevention manager states. I, I basically, I won't be able to collect your side of the story. So yes or no? Fire department's here to check on your injuries. So I'm, uh, I'm over here yep. watching her between the racks. Okay. Because, uh, this is the second time she's going in? Yes, on her second time. Okay. Um, the first time she went in, she stole two dresses, and the second time, two dresses again. Okay. When she crossed point of sale, yep. I apprehended her right at the door. Um, I didn't wait for her to get to the parking lot because yeah. they run on me. Yeah. He confronts her at the door. They go into the room. Um, while they're talking, he takes a picture of her because that's part of their protocol. And um, she tries to snatch the phone out of his hand. And then he says, the police are on their way. You're not going anywhere. And she, like, comes up and chest to chest him, like, it wasn't hard, but she like chest bumps him okay. and he stands in the way and says, no, you're not. All right, Michelle, I told you I would give you one more opportunity to talk to me, okay? You understand your Miranda rights as they were given to you? You understand that you're still under the protection of the Miranda rights? You understand that you've already acknowledged that you understand your Miranda rights? My question is, do you wish to continue to speak to me in reference to what happened? Sure. Okay. What happened today? You have more than enough money to pay for those dresses. I do, I know. <laughs> You have cash and a debit card. So why did we go in the dressing room twice and take stuff off and put it in your purse and, and stash the empty hanger? What's going on? <laughs> you don't know? Okay, so we acknowledge the fact that you went into the dressing room with I a bunch need, of clothes? I need, I need to get an attorney. I need to get an Okay, so you don't want to ask any No, I, I that, don't Fair think enough. So. Because it, no, that's can't. fine. I'm not going to ask any more questions. I'm going to just explain to you you're being charged with misdemeanor retail theft okay. and resisting an officer without violence. I didn't resist. You did too. I didn't resist. You sure did. No. When you pull away from me and tell me that I can't take your purse because it has stolen items in it and I have to take you to the ground because you're fighting with two officers in full uniform fight and it's you. recorded. I didn't fight I'm not with saying you. that you swung at me. I didn't do anything. Miss Burr, I'm not saying that you swung at me. That would be a different charge and it would be a felony. But when I go to detain you so I can do an investigation where me, you, and all staff- I was afraid. Is, is safe? Why I were you afraid? afraid? I'm a police officer yeah. in a marked uniform. The fact of the matter is- The whole thing, I was afraid of the whole thing. Miss Burr, the fact of the matter is, is if you just allowed me to do my job, you would have walked away from here. It's a misdemeanor charge and you have no criminal history. But because you decided to resist with me, I didn't I, resist you. you. Did too. I didn't. This is yet another case of a Karen who seems to think that what she did couldn't possibly count as resisting while she was actively pulling away from the officers and telling them that she wasn't going to cooperate. 
It should also be noted that despite all of the weeping and crying, there aren't any tears on her face. I didn't resist you. Yes, you did. You told me I couldn't touch you. You told me that I couldn't put my hands on you. You told me I couldn't take your purse from you. You told me a lot of things that I couldn't do, which legally I sure could. So that's why you're being charged with resisting. You're also going to be trespassed from the entire plaza. You're not going to be able to shop at the Goodwill, the Family Dollar or whatever. I'm just letting you know so you don't come back by accident. In reference to anybody that I arrest and commits crimes in business, I trespass him from the entire plaza. Okay? So you can't be here anymore. Fair enough? All right. This woman was arrested and eventually charged with resisting without violence, resisting a merchant, and petty theft. Her sentence unfortunately hasn't been made public, but likely it wasn't too severe, given the fact that she doesn't have a criminal history. If you want to be updated on her sentence or any of these cases in the future, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll make sure you hear about any important updates for these cases. Although this woman resisted, she was able to be put in cuffs pretty quickly. This next case shows exactly what happens when the police are forced to take action during an arrest. What's going on? 10 12 or some female. Scared. scared of what? What's your name? What's your name? I don't have a name. You don't have a name? What's going on? Hey, excuse me. Sam. Don't touch me. What's going on? Nothing. Did you see somebody? Why are you hiding? Because you guys were running after me. On September 27th, 2023, Florida officers responded to a shoplifting call from a mall. A couple had taken a pair of sunglasses from Sunglasses Hut and had last been seen heading to a nearby bus stop. In the following footage, you'll see the couple go absolutely nuts when confronted by the police. We were running after you. Yeah, because you, you guys told me to stop and you guys were running after Where's your boyfriend, buddy? I don't know. I don't know. I just know that you guys were running. 1601 PGA. This female, probably, probably 1012 with, with the boyfriend who was the, uh, the Sigma 30. I don't have a boyfriend. All right, so who are you in the mall? I'm not telling you anything. You're not? You're not telling us. She says she's not telling us what's going on. Hey, where's he at? I'm, we're going to put the dog in the ground and bite him. So where's he at? You're not putting a dog. Well, you can you can't tell us what to do. I, okay, I'm not telling you what to do or not, but... Hey, uh, what are these called? All right, one more mic. There's a dog over here. All right. Um, she's not cooperating. Get with Shane and ask... Don't Get with Shane and uh, ask him just verify that she was with him. Uh, you got his number? Where are you hey, ma'am, excuse where are you me. Going? You, you're detained. Put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Get to the ground. Get to the ground. Get to the ground. Get to the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to tase you. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to get tased. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to get tased. Put your hands behind your back. There has been some minor controversy about the quick deployment of the taser by the officer here. A few select people believe that it was used too quickly when a taser should be more of a last resort. The majority of the people online, however, were glad that he used it in the way that he did. It was a quick, effective way to get her to put her hands behind her back like she had been ordered. I'm literally on my hands. You told us no. Of course I'm going to tell you no. <laughs> How about I can't? I can't. Well, that, you should have said that before. 10-4, taser deployed. No. You made the now you're going to jail for resisting. I don't have an ID. What's your name? I'm not telling you. Okay. Because she's part of an active investigation, she is legally required to give the officers her name. Refusing to do so gives them the right to arrest her. Hey, hey, he's right here, yo. He's right here. Mel is right here. I got visual. He's going that way. He's going that way. He's going that way. Come here. Come on. Hey, Mel is in the parking lot looking like he's about to flee northbound. We need somebody. He got black mail, Miami Heat shirt, blue jeans. He's running. Running on foot, going eastbound. Jump in now! I'm going to tase you! I'm going to tase you! Tase him! Get down! Put your hands behind your back now! She got my hands on your 
handcuffs. Hey, handcuffs. Hey, handcuffs. Hey, I'll have those. I got handcuffs right here. Where? Get him. I got handcuffs. Get his hand on the back. Give me the other hand. Man. I can pull away from you. No, but you hurt me. Don't pull away from me. Ow. Hey, let him know we got one detained. We got him in custody. Ow. You hurt me. You should have listened. That's all. Ow. I said a no. You should have listened. That's all you should have done. Yeah, that's all. I was literally on my hand when I when you tackled me to the ground. I was on it. You still tased me. You didn't ask if I had access to my hand. Ow. No Are those those it right there? No weapons. All for that? No weapons. All from all, I need turf on. Well, we got resistance charges too. Yeah, we got fire rescue coming for you, buddy. All right. Hey man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit you up. I'm gonna sit you up. I'm scared. Hey, you know how you avoid all these problems? Don't do it. Right. I should listen to her. Right. That's my fault. She told me not to. She told me not to. And she told me not to. She told me not to. All right. You feel all right? Is she all right? Are you all right? If she's, she's all right. I'm all right. good. Yeah, she's all right. I'm fine. I'm right. me. Right. That, that, that taser felt good. <laughs> well, I'm, hey. I've been out here, bro. I've been out here. Let me see your eyes. Let me see your eyes. I'm sober. Are you 100% sober? I swear to God, I'm my daughter. What's your name again? I'm not telling you. You're not telling me your name? All right. I choose to not. Are you, are you 18? I'm, I'm not telling you my age. I'm not okay. telling you. So I'm you're going to catch additional you. charges. No problem. I uh, know. I'm right, not telling you. You have the right to remain you. silent and, answer, and not answer any questions. I just lost a key to our I just lost a it, it might be, it this may fell down here when I took off the... <laughs> it's gone, bro. Nah, it'll be on here. It's gone, bro. Now he's still got it. Yeah, he yeah. runs a 4 2 40, bro. 100%. I'm a state champion. I'm a state champion, 2014. Jack. Powerlift, 132. That's a long time ago. So you're slow. How old is he? Huh? How old is he? Don't worry about that. 30. I'm going to fast, bro. I'll leave bro. in the race. I'll leave. He'll get you. What's up, racing? Hey, is this the shit that was stolen? Yeah. Yes, sir, it was. They ain't got a confession. Hey man, it's what it is, bro. She all right? She ain't no problem. She ain't nothing at all. Hey, you get so she was resisting. Uh, she resisted me. She had to feel that wrath too. She resisted you? Fuck you talking about? No, no. Black, she man. did. Huh? She did. I hope she did. Well, she felt the wrath. Any statements can and will be used against you in court of law. Do you understand those? You didn't even tell me why you I'm arrested. You understand those? Yes. Okay. You didn't even tell me why I'm arrested. Uh, you're you're under arrest for resisting without and failing to provide information. Failing to provide your ID. I don't even have an ID. Your name? You don't know your name? I don't want to tell you my name. Like, you, like, right. literally just jumped on me. Not jumped on me, but, like, you hurt me. Oh, yeah. And you tased me. And you, you my pulled hand, away from me. My hand you was under. You were not free to leave. I, and you pulled away from me. I was then, not free. I was, then, I was And then cornered. when I grabbed you to put your hands behind your back, you pulled away from me again. That's why we dropped you to the ground. And then you didn't want to put your hands behind your back because we asked you to before he tased you. And you said, no, I will not. It's all on body camera. Yeah, I know that. You said not. You didn't say. Then, uh, wait, wait. You didn't say I can't. You said I will not. Nature. Okay. But still. So you're gonna get a, you're gonna catch two counts of resisting without violence today, okay? It's one for. It doesn't matter. I still a, have. I have. I have somebody to fight for me, regardless of. If, oh, okay. You think your boyfriend's gonna fight? Not. For you? No. Okay, I'm talking. Exactly. About, What's your girlfriend name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. What? <laughs> Look at that. I told you he wasn't going to fight for you. I told you. I, and I actually wasn't talking about him. I have a lawyer. I have a lawyer. I have a lawyer. Okay. Well, you're the, your lawyer can watch the video. It doesn't matter. I have else. a lawyer. I have a lawyer. Silly for a misdemeanor. She seems to think that saying, I have a lawyer, is going to clear her of everything. Having a lawyer is a huge benefit, but a lawyer is only as effective as the case they are working on. Considering everything that's been captured on body cam, her lawyer is not going to be able to fight any of these charges very well. I still have a lawyer. I right. still got taste. Right. I shit hurt. I, I don't shit hurt. Today is not meant to tickle. Did she help you commit that crime? No, she did. She ain't nothing about it. Right, she's she's innocent. Innocent. She's she's no, she's not innocent. She's going for me. Just me. 44. For sure. You hear me? She's not. Yo, 44 before you head away. I'm not gonna ask him anything about the crime yet. Hey, yo, we're gonna read this to you, all right? Based on everything going on right now, okay? What's up? She got a rehab, no, too. I'm reading this to you. She's got a rehab. Brother, can you listen real quick? Yes, sir. You have the right to remain silent and ask me a question. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to You lost the key to her heart, though. You're in trouble now. Hey, man, I'll get it back. You taste her, too. Who taste her? I taste her yeah. and him. <laughs> Wait, who you taste? Him. Oh, I taste him too. Well, I hit him with the first one. He I missed. Got up and started running again, so we shot the second one at the same time and then yeah. dropped. 
Hey, you're lucky I didn't tase you in the face, though, bro. For sure. Because they almost they missed you. One of them, the pro. Right there. Both people were arrested and taken into custody, but unfortunately, there's very little information about either of their cases. There is still some controversy surrounding teasing the woman because she was actively on the ground. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Both of these adults acted about how you'd expect from two shoplifters. In this next case, however, you'll see a woman have a childish breakdown that you'd never expect from an adult. Stand up. Stand up. I need you to stand up. On May 4th, 2023, Officer Perez with the St. Cloud Police Department in Florida was dispatched to Walmart in response to an attempted retail theft. A woman had been observed pretending to pay for items in the self-checkout lane and then trying to leave the store. Unfortunately for her, as you'll soon see, she would blow up as soon as she was caught. <laughs> They want to prosecute press charges, that's no, what it is. Stay right here. Do not move. Can I get my medicine, please? Can I get a cigarette? But they said I could have a cigarette. Once we're done, we're once we're done yeah, once we're doing what we have to do, I'll, we will let you get a cigarette. Come well, on. Can I get my other hearing aid for it, please? Let me find it, and then I'll, I'll get it for you, okay? <laughs> that's funny. This woman just rapid fired off several attempts to get out of getting into the police car, which the officers realized after she asked to go to the bathroom. It's ridiculous how a grown woman like this is trying to avoid taking responsibility for her actions. She knew very well when she was shoplifting that she was doing something wrong. It's just delaying the inevitable. Please. Come on, the, the seat is up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get up, man. You gotta get up. I know, I am. I'm okay. Not. Come on. There you go. Come on. Sit. Sit the right way. You're fine. You're fine. Anxiety attacks do often flare up in situations like this when people are actually suffering from the condition. This woman, however, has done things that point to her behavior being faked. Watch her. Please, don't you anything. Please, don't take me with my daughter. Please. You're fine. Just breathe. Just breathe, okay? I gotta breathe. Can I get a I just like to breathe? Ma'am, you're gonna I fall. I gotta breathe. You're gonna fall. Okay. I have so I'm gonna, you're fine. I'm gonna let you sit like this. I'm gonna buckle you in after. Just sit down and relax, okay? Just breathe. Okay, all right. Nothing else. You hear what she just got arrested for, too? No. Possession of meth. Okay. Meth is a dangerous drug and some of her symptoms do align with withdrawals. The widespread belief online, however, seems to be that she's faking it. We're gonna let you smoke a cigarette, so we're gonna let you out. Need you to just listen to whatever we say, though. Okay. All right, come on. I got you, go ahead. I took my shoes off because I started sweating. I, I had an this ID one. really this bad. This one. This one. So, here you go. <laughs> my drink, I did pay for it. Just, you, want me to, you're gonna, you want me to put it in your mouth for you and then light it no, up? No, I, I got it. I'm not going to take you out of the handcuffs. So. No, I, I know. You, you got it? Okay. Here, I got you. I'll, I'll light it up for you. There you go. Okay. The officers are obviously under no obligation to allow this woman to smoke a cigarette. They're only doing it to be kind because they feel like she is going through a difficult time. I'm, I'm sober. I've been two days sober. I shouldn't have done it. I should have. That's fine. You're going to keep your shoes off for now? You're fine right now? You're good? Yeah, no, okay. I just want to call. Uh, okay. I shouldn't have done it. Thank 
It's worth mentioning that just a few moments ago, she was complaining that she wasn't able to breathe. Smoking a cigarette is perhaps the worst possible thing she could do in regards to that, so it's indeed starting to seem like she's been faking her symptoms. Everything about what she just did was contradictory. The fact that she took off running shows that she isn't remorseful about anything she did. She's just sorry she got caught. How many opportunities did we give you? Huh? Let's get out and smoke, and then you're gonna start taking off. That's another charge now. Get in. Get in. Step up. Fuck her. Sit back. Well, you just made it 10 times worse. This woman was arrested and taken in, but because her name was censored, it's difficult to find any information about her case online. Either way, taking off like that is an easy way to turn a simple shoplifting charge into a felony. In Florida, that means she could receive up to five years in prison, compared to most people not even receiving jail time for petty theft. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you later. Oh, hold on. We got the cops. They're gonna run my license plate. Good morning. Morning, can I help you? Uh, I don't know, can we help you? Do you live here? No, but this is public, correct? Uh, mm, I'm not sure on that. On July 28th, 2022, a man was minding his business and filming in a public park complex when these two officers approached him. He wasn't doing anything wrong, but as you're about to see, the police didn't exactly care about that. Uh, it could be private property. Could be, but if there was, I do believe there would be a sign posted somewhere, right? Not necessarily. Oh, uh, well, I mean... So somebody called on you. That's nice. Okay. Is that your car? That is my car. Okay. Um, well, if it is public... Uh, I mean, I would figure it's public. You have electric access here. Is you have you property? have a you is have a you have a right there? state issued sign. Is that public property right there? Where? Right there? Yeah, right just north of us. Could possibly be because it's easement. Is there anybody in the car? No, just me. But if you want to go check, go ahead, go check. Okay. Can I get your permission to do anything else? No. Do I need your permission? No. Do because... I need your permission to check the car? Mm. You would need my permission to go inside the car. No, but you just said if you want to go check if there's someone else in the car. Do I oh, need yeah, to... yeah, go check no, and no, you can go look no, no, in and see if... Me, go ahead. Do I need you to tell me to go ahead to do it or can I do it on my own? Well, I mean, you could do it on your own. You okay. can do a plain right. view search. Okay, good. Okay. Now, just making sure I... Like, I thought you were under the impression you had to give me permission. To go inside the car, you need permission. Not necessarily. What do you mean, not necessarily? I mean, would you guys like my name? I'll give you my name. You don't have to run the plate for it because my name's not on the plate. What's your name? My name is Josh. Josh? Mm-hmm. Josh what? Lloyd. L-L-O-Y-D. L-L-O-Y-D? Correct. Is it Josh or Joshua? It's Joshua. Hey, Phil. Joshua Lloyd. Huh? Joshua. You're not towing my car. Well, we may have to tow it. It's not registered to him. It's registered to a female. It's a band. It's left on the roadway running. I'm not going to leave it here. Oh. It's just running. So let's get a hold of uh, really the boss and we'll find out if... For safekeeping, otherwise somebody's going to make off with this thing. Yeah. Are you serious? This is quite unnecessary hostility from the officer's perspective, likely stemming from being uncomfortable at how confrontational Josh is. 
There are steps that should be taken before calling for a tow, such as checking if the car has been reported stolen, or if there's a relationship between the registered owner and Josh. Threatening to tow immediately is bad policing. Not even going to question me on who's, who it's registered to. Would you like the insurance and registration? No, you're not driving it. Why would I ask for that? Oh, I am driving it. It's just you're, parked right are you now. In, are you driving it right now? No, it's parked. Okay, so you're not driving it. No. Um, sure, what's your name? Joshua, Joshua Lloyd. Joshua Lloyd. What's your birthday, Josh? You can also look me up on YouTube under okay. you people. I'm going to try I'm going to try and It looks uh, a lot older than me. Yeah, I know I do, don't I? I'm going to try and get a hold of the owner see if they know where the car is. Otherwise, uh, she'll tell you that her son-in-law has it. Got to tow my car. You're gonna let him act like that? For real? You're gonna let him act like that? Just because I'm standing over here next to a wall? And you guys haven't even asked me what I'm doing. You guys go over to my car, give me the third fucking degree, and you don't even like, hey man, what are you doing? I even like turned around, I gave you the thumbs up. He comes out all hard ass, why? What's the point? I'm not trying to catch you in anything, man. I mean, asking a simple question. Why are you going the third degree? Because I'm standing on the side of the side of the road filming a wall and not even asking me what I'm doing. That's a hell of an investigation skill you guys got there. Have you been allowed to use the car? I live with her, yes, and I'm allowed to use the car, okay. hence the reason why I have it. Okay, all right, well, we're gonna do some research, find out whose property that is. You got your name, your information. Um, if it turns out that it is private property, um, then I'll author a report for trespassing. I don't think and it would be private well, I, property I because I what I was doing well, was a public event. Josh, so you guys never even Josh, asked listen me. Listen to your statement. I don't think. That's why I'm going to find out for sure if, whose property Okay, you go, go ahead for sure. Okay, well, I'll do it later. Again, here's the thing. I don't need your permission to check out whose property it is, but I appreciate you giving me the go ahead. I will look into that. That's Can I have card. your name and badge number? Your card? 8632. Your card, please. I have a bad memory. 8632. 8632. You're, you're recording it. Okay. Yeah. Can I have your card, sir? We don't have cards. <laughs> okay. Can I have your name and badge number, please? All right. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. You know, you know, hold on, hold on. Before before you go and give me the lecture, how about how about this? Before you come up all hard ass on somebody, how about before you come up all hard ass on somebody, you ask them what they're doing. Tell me what you're trying to make known to me. Uh, you, you could ask me simply at the very beginning, Josh, very nicely, hey, what are you doing? Josh, do the research and find out whose property you're on because you may be breaking the law. It's public property, I what can tell you that. You're stating that as a fact. Uh, I am. I'm stating it as a fact because I like fucking with you guys. Uh, well, now you're using more profanity. I can use profanity. No, it's the can't. First Amendment. No, you can't. It's the First Amendment. Not you cannot restrict my speech, not unless it's fighting words. If I use it to emphasize my sentences, I can use it to emphasize my sentences. If one man's curse word is another man's lyric. Joshua is spot on correct here. There are restrictions on the First Amendment when it comes to things like fighting words, panic inducement, and things that could cause harm to others. Using curse words is absolutely fine. Josh, we're going to do the research. We're going to do the research. Down. Have a good day. You too. The cops in the scenario did their research and concluded that Joshua was entirely correct. He was geocaching, looking for good spots for one, and had done his research before going out on areas that could be good for it. The officers did nothing after this incident, and Josh came away with a fairly viral video and tons of support online. In this next case, however, you'll see what happens when someone who did commit a crime knows their rights well enough to get out of it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can help you. Is there anyone else in here? Uh, no, it's just me. Okay. 
You mind just opening the door that way I can see? Uh, you trying to, what are you trying to look for? I just want to make sure there's no one else in there. To well, start, and then I'll talk to you whatever. Well, there's, no, there's no one in there right now. Okay. All right. Come out here and talk to me though. Yeah. So I'm going to be honest with you. So we got a report that um, you were seen walking into your dorm with alcohol. So okay. Is there alcohol in there? Uh, I don't answer questions. What's your name and your badge number? Officer Pirtle, NMSU Police. Title and name? Radio Security Officer. Oh, Security Officer, okay. Okay. You have an ID with you? Uh, I do. Okay, can I see it? Uh, you suspect me of a crime? I do. Okay, what crime and how can you articulate it? Minor in possession of alcohol. We got a report that you were walked in. So it's like here that they say, they said thing? Okay. It's a, yeah, right? It's like they said that he has. And that, that's how you're going to articulate it. In late 2023, a report was made on the NMSU campus of a student walking to their room while carrying alcohol, which is strictly prohibited within the dorms. If you've ever been on a college campus, however, you know how often that rule is broken. And you'll see how this student was able to outsmart the cops very quickly. So we don't have to go down this route. If you want to if you want to go down this route, we can. Well, I really don't. But like you're I'm studying right now. I'm doing okay. homework. Okay, knocked on my door. I'm out here. I want to know what's on. You say that they, they said that there's alcohol in this room. Okay. Oh, they, they saw me yeah. going into this room and that there's alcohol in there. How can you articulate it, though? Okay, so that's why I'm here talking to you. Yeah. Okay, so I still need to ID you. Uh, no. And then we need to go from there. You have to, or you have to suspect me of a crime. I, I do. You, you're, you realize that uh, cops in New Mexico don't have qualified immunity, right? I do that. I do okay, that. so from, from here on, just, let's just be careful in the, the, what you're about to do right now. Okay. You're saying that you want my ID, but right now you're not, you or yourself can articulate a crime that I've committed. Okay. So, so I already explained to you why I'm here. Why okay, I need your I know, ID. I know what you're here. But, okay, is my ID going to tell you if there's alcohol in that room? No, but I still need to identify you. My name is Joel. Joel what? Joel. I need your first, last name, and your date of birth. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> if you don't want to provide that You don't want to call Officer Donovan or one of your supervisors here? Yeah, I can get a sergeant over there. All right, then calling him because right now, this is not what you want to do right now. Because okay. this is a violation of my Fourth Amendment. Okay. All right, let me, okay. let me get a sergeant over here, okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, that's my roommate. Oh, okay. You want know, to just hang out out here then? Uh, is he detained? No, that's fine. I just don't want anyone else going you in can, the room. You could go in then. If, you're, if he's not detained, he's free to go. Yeah, he's free to go, but he can't go in the room. He can't? No, not at this time. All right. Just, just, just let it be, bro. Just, they, someone so, called and said that they saw us uh, or me walk in there with a case of beer. But that's all they have, so. This moment could have been quite dangerous for Joel. The officers so far had only told him that someone had reported him with alcohol. Because he said a specific type, it could have given the officers the right to search the room because he mentioned case details that hadn't been given to him. So it's an investigation. I'm talking to him. He doesn't want to identify himself. So until we get this figured out, there's a sergeant on the way that's going to talk to him until this gets figured out. I don't want anyone to go in the room. You are okay. free to go anywhere else. That's fine. You're not detained or anything, but that's what's going on. Uh, is anything going to happen if I don't identify myself? You can be arrested for concealing identity, yes. So, okay, so you, that's what you, I want you to say, if you don't ID to me right now, if I don't give you my ID, that you're going to arrest me. I want you to okay. give me that ultimatum. So, just hold on. You want to wait? You said you wanted to wait to speak to a supervisor, so let's just do that. Okay, okay then. Okay, thank you. And keep your hands out of your pockets for me. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, made contact with him at the door. He got his phone out started recording right away. Okay. I explained to him why we were here. Got a report that he walked in there with alcohol. Um, asked him if anyone else is in the room. He said that no one else is in the room. I'm like, okay, can you open the door so I can see? Make sure no one else is in there. I'm not going to do that. Okay. okay. I'll come out here and say, talk to me. Okay. So he comes out. So, are you suspecting me of crime right now? Am I being detained? All that kind of stuff. Um, explain to him what was reported to us that. We, he's suspected of taking a call into his dorm room, underage, um, and that I needed to identify him. Okay. Um, like, well, that's all hearsay. Um, what is, what is that going to do if I, if you identify me? Well, we're suspecting you of, of a crime. It's a misdemeanor, so I at least need to identify you. What we go, what we do from there, whatever. 
but doesn't he gave me his first name as Joel and doesn't want to give last name or date of birth. Hi. Hi. Name and badge number, please. First John Lovelace. My badge number is 212. 212. All right. Thank you. Uh, officer said here that if I don't ID, I will be subject to arrest. Is that true? Possible, yes. Uh, possible, yes or no? I need I need that ultimatum, or else I won't get my ID. Okay, so technically right now, yes, you could be arrested. Could. I need a yes or no. Like, I need you to tell me if you don't give me your ID right now, I'm going to arrest you. Why, why would I say that to you? Because I need that ultimatum, because right now you're asking. Yes. And I have the right to say no, because you're asking. You're not. It's not a lawful order. Okay. I need you to so make it a lawful you're order. you detained for suspicion of minor um, in possession of alcohol. Mm -hmm. We need to see your ID. Okay, and if not? And if not, you could be considered concealing could? identity. Because New Mexico statute says that concealing of identity is a secondary charge. I would have to have been arrested or suspected of a crime. No, right now, you hear you just hearsay. You're not arrested or suspected. You're being suspected of a, having but possession. On, on, what, on what grounds? Okay, so do you have any alcohol in your possession? I don't answer questions. On what grounds? Okay, so you don't have any alcohol in your oh, possession. God. On what grounds? I don't you're answer questions. No, on what ground? Okay. Yeah, that's her room, bro. Nah, they are they're trying to go in, bro. They're trying to ID me and shit, but nah. Okay, so who are you talking to? I'm recording you. You're recording. You're, okay, you're very not good. Involved at all, so if you want to hang out there, you can. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so here's the deal. By saying uh, could, what we're trying to do is we're trying to be cooperative with you and have you be cooperative with us mm -hmm. and help us clear this matter up. Okay, I gave him my name, Joel. Okay. What's your last name? You don't need my last name and you do not need my date of birth unless you want to run me for unless you want to run my name through your system. Do you have, are you trying to run my name through the do system? You have warrants for your arrest? Is are you, I don't answer questions. Concerned? I don't answer questions. I'm you asking questions. questions. I don't. It's my fifth amendment. Is it or is it not? Okay. So the question is, is that like the officer told you, you're being suspected of having possession of alcohol underage. So in that case, the easiest way to prevent this is for you to let us know. Either you had, you got, somebody saw you carry a case of beer. You have a case of beer in your possession? I don't answer questions. Okay. All right. Um, so the others, the next, the next step in this process would be, would you give us consent to check your room? Nope. To make sure that nope. you have no alcohol in your possession? Nope. I do not consent to any searches nor seizures. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, this is completely up to you how you want to play this. You could get a warrant. Or you get, so, or you, you have probable right costs. Now, Go right ahead. Right now, we do have reasonable suspicion that possibly a crime had been committed. Mm -hmm. We're trying to investigate that. Mm -hmm. You are certainly welcome to refuse if you wish. I know. But we need to ID you. Or and if we do not, if you do not present your identification, you can face a non-traffic citation. You're saying could. I need because you to I'm say you will. You the, I'm giving you the opportunity to. No, I need that ultimatum. I will give you my ID if you say that I'm going to go get arrested if I don't give it to you. So you'll give us if we say that? If you say that, yes, sir. Because that's already grounds for me to set up litigation against you. So you're threatening to sue us? I ain't threatening nothing, brother. That's what you just said. It's not a threat. It gives you grounds. To it's not a threat. It gives me grounds. Does it or does it not? I don't answer questions. Okay, so the easiest and simplest solution to this is for you to tell us your name, date of birth. Joel. Joel what? Joel. Okay, by just saying Joel, there's a thousand Joels. I need a last name mm -hmm. and a date of birth. For what? You're going to run? I told to you want my you name. For the report, I need to have your name and date you of could, birth. I didn't even have to give you my first name for that report. You could literally put the citizen or the or the guy or the suspect. Yes, you it can. Work like that. Yes, it does. I'm a law student here. You're not going to come over here and try to violate my rights. So. Jewel has been correct in most of what he said so far, but this wouldn't apply nationwide. I'm not trying to violate your rights. I'm trying to be cooperative with you and you be cooperative okay, I'm with us. Okay, cooperate with me and accept that I'm not going to give my ID unless I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get arrested. Say it and I'll give you my ID. Just say, if you don't give me your ID, I'm going to arrest you. So you want us to threaten you? Want you. Us to yes, threaten I you. want you to give me that ultimatum if you really want the ID. You. That's not how this is Why? Be. Because you know you can't. You know you don't have that ultimatum. You know you can because you know that opens up for litigation. And to make this clear, I'm detained right now, right? Correct. Thank you. You have to stay over here. Uh, no, I can't. You, you, I'm in no, your view. I'm telling you, you need to stay <laughs> over here. Just keep recording, Sean. Don't let him intimidate you. Oh, let me take my hand on my pocket. Thank you. I There's two guys that. right here with blocks and scared of a, scared of a 19-year-old. The phone, bro.
Well, I'm not scared of a 19 year old with the phone I have. No. Come on, man, don't do that, okay? No, no, no. no. Seriously, Can that's just, your hand that's just be. Do you see something in my pocket? Okay, right well, we would like for you to keep do that for us just to be cooperative, oh, okay? Just to be so, cooperative? Like, just come on, like for you to don't. say what you want me to do? Are you Googling the laws right now? Because yeah. that's really what you should be doing right now. All right, cool. Are you okay with that? Yeah, continue reading. Are you sure you're okay with that? Yeah. I give you permission. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's okay. I appreciate it. Okay, so here's why we need your name and date of birth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read you the law because you are a law student, okay? Uh, Chan, can, can According to New Yugi? Mexico, it's all being recorded. Yeah, I know, but my those body are cameras running. Get. So I'm going to use my, my own. So phone. concealing identity consists of concealing one's true name or identity or disguising oneself with the intent to obstruct the due execution of the law. Am I obstructing? Or, yes, technically you are, with the intent to intimidate, hinder, or interrupt any public officer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or any person in illegal performance of his duties or exercise of his rights under the law of the United States. Okay, so your investigation is investigating okay. that I'm in possession of alcohol, right? That's exactly. Okay, what and if we I said. don't give you, if I give you my IDs, I gonna tell you if I do or do not have alcohol in that room. If or you, is it just a way if you to deny, find me with something? No, the ID is so that we can identify who we are talking to. If you wish to deny us access to that room, that is totally within your rights. I know. But you refusing to identify yourself I to know. us by name. And date, date of birth, birth. Yeah. full name, mm -hmm. date of birth, mm -hmm. that is concealing identity. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so just tell me so that if I don't give you the ID, you're going to arrest me. Just okay. say it. Show us your ID. We need to see your ID. Or, or you will be arrested. Thank you. Y'all got that right? Yeah. Yeah, you got that. <laughs> Fucking pigs, fool, for real. Why do you use that term? Because why the fuck are you searching my shit? Like, We're not searching no, your shit. No, yes, that's a, that's a, that's a seize quick, of my identification. Is it or is it not? It's not a seizure. We just it's a seizure of my identification, yes or no? We just need to see who you are in order to I go told you forward my in the name. investigation. I told you my fucking name. Because this happened on a school campus, it's difficult to find much information about what happened. But it's very unlikely that any sort of action was taken against the student. He knew his rights well and articulated them properly, if a bit harshly, and it turned out well for him. The police didn't search his room and no evidence was found. This next case wasn't as high profile, but it shows what happens when an everyday person is confronted by the police and knows their rights well enough to protect themselves. Sorry to keep you waiting, Michael. That's okay. Uh, this is one of our interview rooms here mm -hmm. at uh, Hamilton Police, and this is audio and videotaped. Yeah, I noticed that. Okay, uh, you're obviously not as stupid, but uh, video camera. Microphones? Microphones on the wall. So everything we say and do is recorded. Mm -hmm. That's for both of our benefit. Okay. It benefits everybody. Um, and I'm going to just discuss the situation with you. Great. Okay. Okay. This is Michael Dixon, a resident of Hamilton, a city in Ontario, Canada. He is suspected of robbing a jewelry store and has been brought in for questioning. Interestingly enough, however, some things about this case make it not what it seems. Do you wish to call a lawyer right now? No. Again, you already have. Yeah. You've spoken to a lawyer on telephone. Michael spoke to his lawyer on the phone before going into the interrogation room, which was the right choice. He should have insisted that his lawyer be present, but talking to one and understanding what information should be shared is better than nothing. And you're charged with break and enter. Do you wish to say anything in answer to the charge? You are not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so. But whatever you do say may be given in evidence. Well, that's fine, because what I have to say is to plead my innocence, so I don't mind that being. Okay. But uh, I'm just curious to know like how it got this far because, as I said to you earlier in the other room, the police officers that were stopping me on the street said that they had witnesses and I... Well, in the, you, you wanted to talk to me about the events in the other room yeah. and I told you that uh, that wasn't the right time and place to discuss it, remember right. that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's one other thing I have to tell you before we discuss this, okay? Okay. And that's that if you've spoken to any police officer or to anyone with authority or if any such person has spoken to you in connection with this case, I want it clearly understood that I don't want it to influence you in making any statement. Basically, all I want is, all we're interested in is the truth. Mm -hmm. And if you've had any conversations with any other police officers, and they've, they've discussed this with you in any way, 
it should have no bearing on what what the the conversation that we have. Okay. Okay. The officer here is being very shady. Michael was going to bring up the fact that there were witnesses to the crime who had some very important information, but this officer is trying to say that they should be discounted because he learned about them from other officers. Okay, um, why we're here is because earlier tonight you were arrested for breaking out to a jewelry store on John Street South. Um, now, uh, your innocence and guilt in this, quite frankly, uh, isn't an issue. Uh, the evidence I have is, fr frankly, conclusive and overwhelming. Okay? Um, so I'm not even going to ask you if you did it. This is a complete and utter lie. There is zero evidence to prove that Michael is the one who committed the crime. And the interrogator told a lie because it's a strategy often used to scare criminals into thinking that there is already overwhelming evidence against them and that talking won't worsen the situation. What I have to ascertain here is what kind of guy you are. Okay. Um, whether, whether this is you're like a serial burglar and this is what you're doing all the time or whether this is a, a one-off thing because of the power cut and everything that's going on tonight. The interrogator mentions that there is a power cut. This is correct, as there were intentional rolling blackouts during that time to ensure that the power grid as a whole remained functional. Unfortunately, a lot of people did take advantage of these blackouts to steal. I've got no questions to ask you. I mean, why did okay. you do it? That's, that's basically, yeah, that's, that's my only question. But coming from that position, and, I'm, and since I'm saying I didn't do it, I really don't have an answer for you except to say I didn't do it. I guess we haven't really got a... Really? A, a great amount of thought yeah. to go out. Yeah. It's, it's like I said, the whether you did it or not isn't up for the discussion. Okay, well. Um, it, it's really not. There's a number, a number of witnesses. Great. One of whom had a video camera. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, that's there. relieving. That's so, relieving, to be quite honest. Yeah. So, view the video camera. I have. Okay. That's why your guilt isn't in an in, in issue here. That doesn't even make sense to me. Because if I'm on the video camera, that doesn't make sense. You have a video camera that shows me? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense to me. This is, once again, a blatant lie. Michael knows very well that he didn't commit this crime, and if they do have footage showing him committing a robbery, it would be an even bigger issue because it would be fraudulent evidence. He also still knows that there were witnesses that didn't place him at the scene, for one very important reason that we'll get to. I guess I have no choice but to get a lawyer then, if this is the kind of thing you're going to well, go through is, with me. This isn't, I mean, go, this isn't going to go away, you're, you're charged with breaking and you will be charged tonight. That. Okay. You will be going to court in the morning, uh, charged with breaking in with intent. Okay, that, that's, that's what's going to happen right now. The interrogator is attempting to scare Michael into accepting a plea deal to avoid going to court. Unfortunately for him, Michael knows very well that he didn't do this and isn't going to take responsibility for it. Can I ask you something? Okay, are you just making this up that you have a video camera so you see how I react? Because it goes that read. if you're saying, okay... Hear me out for a sec, please. If I am guilty, as you believe, because you had me on video camera, then okay, we'll go through the procedure. But I'm saying, I, I, you know, trying to call your bluff here because since I know I didn't do it, there's no way I can be on the video camera. Well, like I say, it's just so, game, it's not game of poker. Okay, well, I've got, I've got nothing. To I'm not gain trying from to give you a hard time, time, right? You know what? I've got nothing to gain from that either way. Um, which is why I'm not asking you. Did you do it? I'm not trying to catch you out. I've got nothing to gain from that. Okay, well, I'm here to ask, do whatever you want to do. The circum I mean, the circumstances are that uh, three people who live across the street saw you uh, hiding in the doorway there, pulling the glass out, breaking the glass. When the police officers, the two uniform officers who uh, arrested you, pulled mm -hmm. up across the street from you, they saw you run off down the alleyway and then they described the police officer who arrested you chasing you on foot. And that police officer then arrested you around the corner. 
So this police officer recognizes me in green shorts and white t-shirt with a knapsack. The witness, all of the witnesses, saw you running from the store, being chased by the police officer who arrested you. When did yeah. this take place? Like, how long before when, uh, I was arrested? Like, he ran immediately before seconds. Well, this isn't me. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, that's fine. Do, do you own a bicycle? No, not in, not here in Toronto. I do. Yes. Where do you live? Nine, in here, Hamilton, Nine Delaware. You can hear the interrogator here start to stutter a bit and ask weaker questions because he's starting to doubt himself as well. What, what happened when you were arrested by the officer? Oh, well, I, I could see figures, but it's dark, right? And and I could sense like that person's coming towards me. And I was like, whoa, what's going on here? And then the flashlight came up and I thought this, and then there's more than one voice and I thought something's up here. And then, they didn't identify themselves as police officers, but I... Well, they were in uniform. In the dark, yes. And so then, behind flashlights. So my point is, I cannot tell who's behind a flashlight. And then I could, but I could see a weapon. And and I was kind of like, they're saying, get down, ground. I'm kind of like, uh, okay, like, cooperate. And then I'm thinking, I don't know the police officers. And I said as such, like, who are you? Are you, are you police? And he's like, like, what do you think? as a response and I got on the ground the next thing I was like police so all where, around me where, where, where exactly were you when you were arrested Major, let's, can we do it on the board here sure. how's that Want me to do? you set up exhibits you're probably more artistic than me like I said on the information that I've got you, you're going to be charged tonight with breaking in uh -huh. however I do have a duty to make sure that the truth uh -huh. is and the truth basically the truth is paramount and the true the true version mm -hmm. of events is paramount, and I have a duty um, to investigate all of this, and I will investigate. Okay. I assure you, I'll investigate this story thoroughly. This statement shows Michael just how seriously he's not being taken, because the officer should have already investigated everything thoroughly before coming into the room to interrogate him. This includes the biggest piece of evidence that proves he's innocent. The witnesses said that the person who robbed the jewelry store was white all three of them. Despite that, Michael is being interrogated like this, with the man trying to pin evidence on him. And uh, hopefully, um, I'll be able to find something here, mm -hmm. which will either prove or disprove, mm -hmm. okay. the, 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 you know, what we've discussed tonight. Yeah. Okay? The problem is the speed at which this is going. Yeah. You know, like when I was on the ground, I think, go quickly to the terminal. I have like six or so guys around me, you know, like, talk to the bus driver, right. you know, like I, like I can't, I mean, I can't comment on things that okay, I seen, know, unfortunately, but, um, but now I'm, I'm left kind of, hanging, right? Now I'm looking at this, I mean, this is the, basically on the evidence I've got, this is the only course of events that uh, can take place right now, but I, I will certainly make sure that this is looked into thoroughly, okay, uh, okay. I can give you my word on that, that's my duty, that's, that's what I have to okay, do. Okay, I trust you will, okay. but I'm just saying, it's a shame that I don't even know where I'm staying tonight. Like, what horrors are ahead of me? But I mean, this is okay. Uh, just Wait for me a second. I just have to uh, check on one thing. Okay. Back in a second. One thing that's uh, one thing that's come to light. When you were arrested, you had uh, an, an object in your hand. A ratchet, yeah. Can Can you tell me about that? It was in my pocket, and to be quite honest. I was thinking I should have something in my hand <laughs> because I was walking home, which doesn't sound very nice, but that's the why it's there. I'm not and criticizing you for that. And that's it. Okay, that's, so that's a tool I use at use. That's like a quite common. Okay. I even have spares in my bag, you know. So okay. So when that's you're, the reason. Yeah. You know. So when the officer approached you, I had it in my hand. You had a ratchet, and it's just. Tool. Was it like an Allen key? Yeah, thing? there's a like, like a, a corner key. So what I, ratchet? Exactly. What I have at work, we have aluminum. Uh, I think of as big erector set. We build frames and stuff that have a lock and it's a ratchet. And sometimes corners are like 45. You need that corner key. I understand that. Anyways, that's the tool, and that's why I had it in my hand. 
Michael stayed in jail for three nights and had a curfew for nine months until all charges were eventually dropped. He went on to sue the county police and received over $100,000 in damages. Why are you giving me the thing? What? What's your problem? What? Why are you giving me the finger? I'm walking away. Huh? Am I free to go? Why are you giving me the Am finger? Am I free to go? No. Come For here. what reason? Why are you giving me the finger? I'm free to go. What's Am your, I free to go? What's your problem? Am I free to go? No. What's what, do you have name? a problem? No. Do you have a problem? No. If you don't have a problem, then we're... I can leave. Why are you, are you giving me the finger when you're walking? Huh? Come here. The officer you're hearing speak is Corporal Michael Pritch, and he's just pulled over because this man gave him the middle finger when he drove by. You heard the cops say that the man was not free to go, which might end up coming back to bite him later. I'm free to go! No, you're not! Walk. Get over here. What? Get over here. Why? Because. Is that a lawful order? Yeah. For what reason? Because you're giving me the finger. That's legal. No, it isn't. Says who? Says it all. Pull up the law. Huh? Pull up the law. What's your name? What's the law? What's your What's name? The law? What's your name? How What's old the law? are you? Have a good one. Have a good one. Whatever. Fuck you. What? You heard me. Come here. I'm afraid of you. Come here. Get over here. There is a lot of debate about this particular situation online. Generally, people agree that at first, the man did nothing wrong, because giving a cop the finger is protected under the First Amendment as free speech. When he starts walking away after the officer repeatedly tells him to come back, however, there is a gray area on whether or not it's legal. He also didn't identify himself when asked, which can get him in trouble depending on the nature of the stuff. Get over here. Get over here. I'm not doing anything illegal. Yeah, you are. You just cursed me off. That's Turn not around. a crime. Yes, it is. Says who? Says me. Turn Says around. who? Turn around. Come on. Bro, that is not uh, a fucking crime. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Why are you cursing me? It's not a crime. What's your name? It's not a crime. What's your name? Help! Help! No help. Help! Help! Yo, help! Come At this moment, the corporal turned off his body cam, which is a big no-no for police, especially in the modern day. He doesn't turn the camera back on until backup arrives. It is legal. He's allowed to Who detain you kid? until he performs his So what am I doing though? What am I doing that made him detain me? What legal See, right? Time I rode by him twice, he shot me the finger. So I turn around and say, well, you're Is right. that a crime? No problem. Well, then he tells me this is causing public service. And then he that's tells not, me to, no, that's not a crime. Off, pig. Yeah. Pig. That's not a crime. That's not a crime. He's looking at you because he's like, what the fuck you want me to do? Because there's, it's not a crime. I know my rights. Who are you? I don't have to say any of that. Uh, you do if you're being detained. What's that? You do if you're being detained. For what reason? What, what, what legal mean? reason am I being detained for? Where are you coming from and where are you What going? legal reason am I being detained for? I need to know that. Legally, I need to know that. Why are you shooting me to think? Why are you... Is that illegal? Why are you yeah. fucking bird? Yes, it is. It's causing a public disturbance and a public alarm if you are cursing so in public. So a single one. So when you are cursing in public, you are causing a public disturbance. You're being a nuisance to the public. Cursing in public is protected under the First Amendment, just like shooting a cop the finger. There are specific situations where it can become unprotected, but because they're on the side of the road with nobody else around, those limitations don't apply. In what way? When he was driving past? That's singular? That's singular? Well, I'd like to see you guys prove it in court. It's, it's, it's called, it's called pausing, causing a public disturbance okay, I know the law. by being a nuisance. Okay? I know the law. All right, so at that point, what he is doing is he's not saying you're being charged with anything. At that I'm point, he's detaining you, you to make what's sure that wrong? there is nothing make wrong. Make sure you're okay. What make reason, sure that you're okay. What reason does he need to detain you? He thought maybe, maybe he thought you were signaling him down. I'm not sure. That I was okay. doing what? Were you I signaling would. to him? No. Listen, I was no. Just, he knew very well that I wasn't signaling to you, right? I wasn't signaling well, to you. You bring attention to yourself. That's your not single. You're acting strange. I'm making sure you're okay. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Like, you're not here for my safety. You're not trying to protect me. How do you know? You're walking you on the side of the road, and you're you're cursing and you're flipping the bird. Once at him, 
I gave him the finger once. Do that you will know not him? hold up. Do you know him? That will not hold Why up are in you a court him of the law. Finger? That will not hold up in a court of Why law. Are you I know my finger? rights. Do you know him? It's not your business. Do you know him? It's not your business. Yeah, I plead the fifth. Business. I plead the fifth then. You guys make nothing out so, of something. So, by you cursing and using vulgar gestures, so causing the, the public, amendment for? It's causing a public, public disturbance. What's the, the public First alarm. Amendment for? Okay. The, the public, first Amendment is for your freedom of speech. Okay. Okay. What does that have to do with with Was I making a gestures? call to action? Was I making a call to action? Was I? The cop is just absolutely, blatantly wrong here. The First Amendment doesn't only protect speech, that's just what it's most known for and colloquially referenced as. A more fitting description is freedom of expression, which the middle finger absolutely falls under. Was I like when you were threatening acting, you in any way? You Did I threaten about? you? Do you understand you know what a call to action is? Do you understand that you're acting? Is that a call to action? Do Am you, I calling for an action to be done against you? No. Do you understand you're that it is? To listen, 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 listen. That's not legal. It's, it's, it's behavior that's out of the order. Okay? I understand how it works. So therefore, but legally, he stopped it would not to talk to you. Clearly, if you stopped all the way back there, I'm assuming you guys were back there and you just continued we were to back walk. A bit, a bit further and you back. just continued to walk. I wasn't running. I had, I told you that I was free to go, and you uh, all I said of a sudden stop, and you ran down here. That's once, I wasn't running. Once, I was walking. Once he so gives an order for you to stop, here. you're supposed to stop. I did stop when he originally said it, but I was asking, is and it a leave? Is it a walk? Off, and he took off. Yeah, because I kept walking because you weren't you weren't pursuing at the first. I right. only started pursuing because so I said, listen, fuck you, pig. That's listen. when he got a little upset. Okay, so listen. He got his panties in so the pants. We're, oh, here, right. we're here at this point now. Okay. You've brought the attention to yourself. You yep. caused the public alarm. Yep. So now. Well, I'd like to doing, see you legally hold so that in court. Doing, because, well, I'm not charging you with anything, so I don't well, legally I would, need to hold anything in court. <laughs> well, okay? I what can, I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out why you're walking on the side of the road, okay? And why you are continuing to signal to a police officer. I wasn't signaling. See, now you changed the story. Now you're changing the story. Was I signaling or which one was it? So what were you doing? Well, I want to know from your perspective. I, what I was pulled I up onto the scene, you so you tell me what you were doing. Bring your attention. I played the fifth. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot, dude. Okay. How long have you been a cop, Six? Longer than you. Listen. Longer than you, I'm not a cop, retard. Listen. Longer than you've been alive. You're fucking retarded, Listen. bro. Listen. Yep. <laughs> what? Like, what? I don't understand what, what the point of this is. <clears throat> I'm walking. That's what I'm doing. Okay. It's the Fourth Amendment to be allowed to walk without seizures or anything like that. You Which sure? Is, yes. Are you sure that's the Fourth Amendment? That's the Fourth Amendment. Are you sure that's what the Fourth Amendment is? Uh, you sure? You don't money on it? You sure that's what the Fourth Amendment is? It gives you the right to walk without seizure. The Fourth Amendment does indeed protect this man from unwarranted searches or seizures. These cops don't seem to know the Constitution all that well, considering that's the second amendment they've gotten wrong. What's going to be seizured while you're walking? Y my body, my person, idiot. I'm seizing did you? I, did anybody yes, did I yes, take all you your were, You were about to. Come on. You were about to. Listen. He said I was going to be under arrest. He fucking He's, said he it. He said you were detained. I said, Stop. He no, said you were well, detained. You're be so now what yeah, happens? So, so now what happens? He just admitted that now he was what going to arrest me. He gives you a lawful order to stop and you do it not stop. It wasn't a lawful order though. And you do not stop. It legally was not a lawful order. you do not stop, then that becomes a criminal offense and then Yes, you can be put under But arrest. it's not a lawful order. Then I take it to court, and then he'd get sued, and I get maybe. punitive damages. I'd be rich as fuck. Is that what you want? That, that uh, may, you that, don't know the that law. That may be what happens. You don't know if you the think law. That's what's going to happen. All right. It may be what you, what's going to happen. It may not be what happens. Okay. Okay. I what understand. All right. So is what are we wasting time for? Am I free to go? What may happen is you may get a normal jury. Am I free to go? Am I free to go? No, because at this point you were detained. Okay. Because he told you to stop, and you didn't stop. Okay. So therefore, you need to identify yourself as a part of the investigation. So what is your name? Okay. I'm going to need all of your badge numbers. I will give you everything written down on a card. What's your What's your rank? I'll give it all to you on a card. Patrolman. I'm a patrolman. That's my rank. Patrolman. Oh, patrolman. Okay. You? Corporal. Okay. So. What is your I name? can give you. If you have an idea, I, that's perfect. Am I? Okay, I'll, I'll take it to court because idea, this is still perfect. this is still a detainment. Are you it's, a juvenile? This is an illegal detainment, Are you so a I can still. I'm not going to answer that. You have to answer. Why? Yeah, because you're being detained. I said I'll give you my ID, buddy. Are you a juvenile? You saw me. No. Okay, so. There is some criticism towards the man here because he still didn't need to give the cop his ID. But if he didn't, he knew that he would probably have to sit in jail for a good while on a false arrest for not giving ID. Even if it would have been unwarranted, he didn't want to have to waste that much time. Because it has to be handled a little There's bit differently. Uh, we gotta That's all. If you're a juvenile, I have to call your parents and I have to advise them that I'm out with you Got and it. that I'm speaking Go ahead, with you. Piggy. That's all it is. Okay? 
Like He's such a fucking I'm pig, though. So what does that make you? Not a pig. What's Dude, this is illegal. This is illegal, buddy. What, what, is the, what is the point? This is illegal. There's nothing illegal about it. Yes, it is. It is you want not. to bet money on it? We're going to find we'll, out. We'll see in I'm, court, bud. Listen, we're going to find out. Okay. We'll when see you cause court. a public disturbance and a public alarm and you become a nuisance to the public, okay? We, You'll legally have to prove that I was a nuisance when to the you're public. Standing, How would you do that? How would you do that? I just want to hear Camera systems. Okay, so when he goes by in the okay. car, okay, and he sees you okay. doing what you're doing, and what was I all doing? Be there. And what part of that caused a disturbance? That's what I'm trying to legally understand. I don't understand. Is that a body camera? That's what it is. Perfect, perfect. Tuckerton doesn't have them, you know that? Tuckerton's been on back order for a month. I, because I have a lawsuit against them, that's why. And I wish they'd have fucking body cams. I would love if they had body cams. And it, it takes out the bad cop. That's what it's for. It's not for the good cop. Well, to protect the, uh, the good cops as well. It's for all of us. To take us. out the bad cops. It's for all of us. Right. It's for all of us. It's for everybody that's involved in the situation. Okay? Appreciate it. There you go. Okay. Now, listen, if you have any problems or anything, and you want to come down, you want to talk to somebody, our supervisors are always there as well. Okay? Well, I'm going to take a lawsuit, so who would I press criminal charges against? For what? You're going to have uh, to, you're going to have to call, you're going to have to call and figure that out with a lawyer. I don't need to answer that. I'm asking you, where would I go to press charges against a police officer? You would have to come down and file a complaint with it's the courts. It's at this police station? You would have yeah. to file a complaint with the courts. Got it. Okay? And then you can go from there if you want to see if you can press charges and whatnot if Perfect. you violated your rights. Appreciate it. Okay? Stay All out right, of the roadway. Don't give us fingers. Shut the fuck up. Stay out of the roadway. Stop causing a public alarm. Dude, shut the fuck up. Am Stop I free to go? Cursing. Am You're I free, free to, go? to go. Stop cursing. Go fuck. You're free to go. Fuck. Unfortunately, there's very little information online about whether or not this man actually started a lawsuit against these officers. But considering how adamant he was about it, it's likely that he went through with it. If he did, there's a good chance he won the lawsuit because he knew his rights well. In this case, the person being questioned genuinely hadn't done anything wrong. The same cannot be said about this next case, however. You live around here, buddy? No. Where you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's your no. name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh-huh. I'm not supposed to be on the track. No, that's not the problem right now. Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff. I got the roofing. Roofing? Yep. Okay. For my brother. All right. What it is, we got an escapee. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where from? Uh, prison. There's a prison here? Yeah. Huh. What you see here is an officer pulling up and talking to a jogger that he noticed running off of the normal track. And because there is currently an escaped prison convict, the officer knows he can't be too careful. What the officer doesn't know is that this is Richard Lee McNair, the man who escaped, who is currently cooking up a lie so he isn't detained. Hey, this is Carl. The subject wore glasses? Nothing about glasses. Can you find out? I'm out with a white male on the tracks at uh, Gilly Williams. Take your glove off. Yeah. Any tattoos or anything? Yeah. Look it over. No, no. No, nah, he's clean. Oh, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> how old is your guy? You're how old? 50. I was born in 56. He born in 56. 58. Uh, any kind of details you can give me, huh? This officer doesn't have too many details on the escaped convict because he wasn't someone who dealt with the prisoners. He received word on his radio to keep an eye out for anything suspicious, and when he did see something he deemed suspicious, he needed to radio in for more details. If he had known more, he likely would have realized who he was talking to. What color you got? Green? Well, kind of a turquoise blue. Turquoise blue? Yeah. <laughs> you want to give me some more? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's uh, short, short hair. My guy's got skin cut hair. He's got a beard, well, a uh, goatee like. How old is that picture? Yeah, I know. I got the same thing. You can't see shit on it. All right, let me uh, let me just verify. He says his brother's staying at the motel. Let me verify that, and if so, I'll just cut him loose. I guarantee I'm not. No you know the bad thing about it? What's that? You'll match it up to him. Come on. <laughs> that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. This moment has been widely laughed at online because he was talking to the right guy, but there is also a lot of support for this officer. 
He did the morally correct thing and didn't assume that a random person was a convicted criminal and treated him with kindness, decency, and respect. He was wrong in this situation, but it's a good way for an officer to act on duty. What are you staying at? That uh, Titus Bill or Titus Inn? Titus Inn? A little old. A little old. Where's that at? I don't even know the address. We just got into town about a week ago, and he dropped me off to jog. I always jog about 12 miles a day. Where'd he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there, some houses. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off, and uh, he'll be back to the hotel in about probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Who do y'all work for? It's his, it's his, uh... I know, what's the name of the company? Phil's Roofing. Okay. Roofing. Did you go through a briar patch or something? Well, yeah, roofing. I always roof in shorts and cut my uh, scratching up on, you know, the roofing. That's stuff. why your knees are all cut up? Yeah. Or y'all got pads? Huh? Y'all wear pads? They're too hot. They rub your, the pads rub your back of your legs and stuff. Um, where are you from? Huh? We're originally Dallas, Texas. I mean, that's where y'all yeah, stay where at? we're out of. Out of Dallas, Texas? Texas. What's your name again? Jimmy Jones. If you'll notice, this is actually not the same name that he identified himself as earlier. First, it was Robert Jones, and now it's Jimmy Jones. The officer should have noticed something was wrong at that point, but had likely forgotten the first name already. Put yourself in my position. Well, yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I know, I'm oh, not, man. I'm not, I'm not throwing you against her. Hey, you wouldn't believe what them guys do. Okay. I mean, they got years and years to think about how they're going to do it. Now, uh, when I crossed the tracks down there, I saw you running. I said, well, how lucky can I be? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no prison escapee. How far you got a jog to? I do. Hopefully it's on these tracks. Where? How far away you are from Hymel? Well, I would say it's eight miles. Um, I'm trying to think where you're going to hit out at. Um, well, Procter and Gamble. Right Pine Bill, right? Right. You're going to be right there at Procter and Gamble. Walmart and all that stuff. Yeah. Where you, so, where's y'all's motel at? Okay. Let me think now, because like I say, uh, fuel always drives. Okay, Walmart's right there. Go right at Walmart, and there's a road. That, is it 165? Right. 165 that goes south, and there's uh, we, we've got a camper, and we were trying to get into the camper place, but we didn't get into the camper place. Yet. There's a camper place between I think Ball, I mean not Ball, uh, Pineville, and what's the next town? Alexander? No, no, Alexander's the other way. We got Paul Powell, Tioga. I think that's Tioga. There's a little, uh, uh, you drive down the, the road down, and there's uh, a place for uh, campers and stuff. And that's where we usually stay, but we couldn't get in there. The story is at least very well thought out. One noticeable detail is that he didn't accept the first town that the officer said, because it would make it sound like he was too agreeable and his story wasn't real. Because he denied something the officer said and brought in a new detail, it was more believable. I promise you I'm not no damn Chris in this case. Baby. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> you know that yourself. <laughs> You'd have done run by now. No. Well, if you can't verify me, I'll be at the... Did you see anybody or anything? There's some kids up there playing. That's all you saw? Yeah, the kids. Was that you that blew your siren? Uh-uh. There's a siren, and then some kids were screaming, some little kids playing on the tracks. Can I jog on them? Is this I don't I care, okay, personally. This is the only way I know how to get back. Don't get run over by a train. There isn't any. That's why I picked this <laughs> I'm one. sure you can hear him way in advance. Yeah, but that's why these are rusted, right? For a train? They go down this road? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. See, I saw it rusted, and I thought... Hell, I can jog on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they'll come. Not as much as our other track. Other Good track about every Thank hour. You, sir. I'm sorry to have to hold you up. But hey, no, I'm just doing my job, man. I know you are. Be careful. You'll probably get stopped again, okay? okay. Don't be alarmed by it. Borderline, yeah. Okay, and you'll be on till well, this shift. I'll be on until we find this on the gun. Well, my dad's an auxiliary detective. In Where Dallas, at? In Dallas. Oh, okay. Possum is what they call it. Yeah. He's 70 years old and he's been doing it since 63. Still he's enjoys it. Else, yeah. But um, if, I, if somebody else stops me, I just haven't called. I mean, they're going to go through the same spiel okay. and everything well, with they you. They'll call you. But um, yeah, I mean, don't be alarmed by it. Don't be okay. upset about it. You know, they'll just stop you for a minute, check you out and everything. But if you do jog again in the future, carry some ID with you. See, I don't. In, I'm sorry. When I was in the military, we never carried our ID yeah. on base and stuff. So. On base is different. Yeah, I know. You know, they assure you if you can cross on, you, you got something. Yeah. But out here, you're in civilian life, you know. Were you in the military? 
No, I wasn't. I'm, I'm retired Army. But, um, yeah, in the future, if you're going to jog again, that way, I mean, if you get run over by a train, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to start second guessing who he is, you can know. Can you write down your uh, phone number, your cell phone number, so I can have whoever call you? Just call. You got a cell phone with you? No, hell no. I don't even have a cell phone or anything. Just call 911 is all you got to do, and they'll get a hold to us. All right. That's hey, our quick line there. You have a good day now. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. All right. Richard Lee McNair became somewhat known for his escapes. This definitely wasn't the first. He escaped three times from three different institutions throughout his life. The officer who pulled him over remained with the police force until he passed away in 2015. McNair was eventually recaptured in 2007 and is currently serving out the rest of his two life sentences in the United States Penitentiary. This man was a cold-blooded liar and did everything he could to get out. Hey, we just gotta do our investigation and that's it. In January of 2020, celebrity rapper to Baby, otherwise known as Jonathan Kirk, was supposed to be playing a show at a nightclub in Miami. When the owner supposedly paid him only $20,000 out of the $30,000 he was owed, however, things took a turn for the worst. Unfortunately, this obscured footage is the only record of the event, and because of that, there is very little evidence actually linking DaBaby to the crime. The officers desperately wanted to get a confession out of him to make this case easier on them, but Kirk, as you'll see, was very well prepared in the interrogation room. So my name is Detective Ledlow, sitting with my Robert Detective Sergeant Murray, uh, Robert Unit. And I just want to give some basic formalities. I'll give you some uh, regular information for you, and we're going to do my way. What's your full name? The audio is a bit difficult to discern here, but the baby basically told the officers that they already have all of the information that they're asking for and he'd rather they get right into talking about why he's being detained than sit and reiterate information that they already know. And incident, you, you had an altercation with somebody? No. You didn't? Did you have a business dealing with somebody? No. You didn't? No. So somebody didn't bring you $20,000 in front of the hotel in your SUV? No. They didn't? No. Okay. Somebody had somebody bring $20,000 that wasn't theirs and lied to them and told them that it was for an event of theirs on the 31st and lied to them. That person, once he realized they were doing bad business, said nah and left with his $20,000. Okay, so you didn't count? And got my contact information to do business the right way. That's what happened. The people that got y'all put me in because they the crooks. They the criminals. That's what I'm telling you. Bro. Okay, so you, you didn't count like $20,000? $20, did you count $20,000 in no, your SUV? No, I did. Yeah. Okay. You did? Okay. Well, what time was this, sir? I don't know. Every time they chose it. So you're saying whatever, that you weren't, you weren't whatever time, whatever time the camera showed me not robbing no damn body that okay. time. Well, uh, were you there? Was I where? At the location where the twenty thousand thousand dollars were being discussed. I just told you how they attempted to pay me twenty thousand dollars of somebody else's money, which I could have took. They tried to give it to me. I woke once I saw that it wasn't good business being done. And nah, uh -oh, what's going on? Y'all clear up what y'all got going on? They couldn't clear it up because they were doing bad business. What the baby is saying here is that the owner of the venue attempted to pay him with borrowed money, which he didn't want to accept for several reasons. The terms of his contract were being violated, and it wasn't even the correct amount of money. An altercation then happened where the owner was beaten and robbed, but as the baby states, there is no evidence it was him. Common sense. 
You know what I made to even be down here? The promo- a promoter booked me at that hotel. I didn't pay to be at that hotel. I was paid for it. You'd have let me on my room, you would have saw close to a quarter billion dollars cash legally, a hard earned money. I don't got to take nothing from nobody, bro. Well, let me ask you this. Do, do, I will go outside here right now and throw $10,000 in the air. Like, I do not care about no money. I don't. Bro. Was there an argument? No, it was an argument. I didn't argue with a soul. I didn't argue with a soul. My voice was, was never was raised. It was fight, never aggressive language for me. None of that. Was there a fight? None of that. No, I ain't seen no fight. <laughs> Man, nothing's taken. We shouldn't be in no robbery yet, bro. So when y'all get done doing what y'all doing, y'all need to do y'all job. Y'all need to follow y'all process, and y'all need to arrest whoever gave y'all these false allegations, bro. This bullshit. This bullshit, bro. This shit that cost me already $50,000. Already. Already, bro. Bullshit. This shit is bullshit, bro. It is. This is bullshit. Okay, where were you at? I don't know. Hey, calling my phone. I don't know where I was on Thursday. I'm not keeping track of where I'm at because I'm not out here living the wrong way, bro. Okay. When I encountered you in the hotel, you came back to the uh, the country here, the counter. Yep. Where were you coming from at that point? Uh, prime seafood. Prime, 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 whatever, whatever the hell. I went to eat. I went to get some food. Where is that? I don't know. Bro. You don't know? No. How'd you get there? In the car, bro. What kind of car? Was it a car you drove, somebody else drove? <laughs> a Uber, bro. A Uber? Yeah. What kind of car was it? A Uber. Small car, SUV, truck, what? I don't know. Let's talk about what matters. Let's talk about what matters. Let's talk about what y'all need to get me about this, bro. When I'm driving in the car, what I went to go eat, what time I went, that don't got nothing to do with the fact I ain't robbed a damn so. Me, nobody around me, ain't nobody robbing let's, nobody. Let's, let's take the word robbery out of the picture. So while we here, we taking the word out, robbery out of the picture, the y'all robbery. too, y'all are uh, robbery detective. This is robbery unit. That's, some, the, that's the second word he today. said. That's the second word he said when he came here. Robbery. Come on, bro. The baby's reaction here is one that many people online resonated and agreed with. Why would the officer say, let's take the robbery out of the picture, when that's the entire reason he's there? The burden of proof is on the officers in this situation because the footage captured doesn't prove that the baby was even there. And I ain't even do shit to that man. They the crooks. They the crooks. They already they already mentioned twenty thousand dollars of somebody else's money. They, they they tried to act like what so, so you're telling us that that whole incident happened. Well, so so the, the whole point about this, we're talking about the same thing. We're talking about when when we talking about janky promoters, bro. Well, okay, that's what okay, we talking. That's what I'm talking about. about. So you're, you're, you're talking telling about me that, that whole incident happened. We talking about criminals. Um, when, when I do business, is legally is legal is legally binded. It's legally binded. Okay. Everything I do, you have to sign a contract. You got to sign a contract. Okay, it's so a contract so you're right me now. That whole incident happened and nothing. Nothing went wrong. Nothing. Nothing happened. There was no. Not, not to my knowledge. There was no fight. There was no scuffle. There was no. I ain't fight nobody. I ain't fight nobody. Bottom line. Okay. The baby has stuck to his story very well. The only thing that he could have done better was ask for a lawyer. But he seems to know the law and his rights well. He probably just didn't want to wait the time it would take for his lawyer to arrive. So why would someone say that you did? You gotta bring him in here, ask him that. Bring him in here, but it don't matter. It, regardless of, of, of what y'all got going on, see, this is why, this is why you you do business the right way, which is not the way they was doing it. Well, his well, name's well, on a contract, bro. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sue him anyway. What was his well, name? Well, I'm well, gonna sue him anyways. Whoever y'all talking to. Whoever you, you tell me his name. Who would you sign a contract with? Well, I don't sign the contracts. I'm the performer. I don't sign the contracts. So your management team signs the contract? Yes. Who signed the, who in your management team signed a contract with who? They don't no, tell you who you're don't, performing We ball? don't sign the contracts. We draw them up. I just told you he signed the contract. So who's he? <laughs> Y'all let me know, bro, when y'all done with the, with the mind game questions, bro. I don't have time for that. There's no mind game questions. Whoever made the report. There's no mind Whoever game made the report. Whoever made the report, bro. Y'all don't got to act like y'all know less than what y'all know. Whoever made the report. But y'all know it's too much 
Uh, y'all know too many lies. You get what I'm saying? That's why y'all got to move backwards like that, bro. Like, you say, you're saying that they're, you're saying that they're lies, but you don't you, you don't know what we what we have or don't know. Okay. I know, I know, I know, I know if y'all had proof of me robbing somebody, we wouldn't even be talking. Y'all would have cuffed me, I would be charged with it. That's what I know, bro. This is exactly correct. They don't have any evidence aside from the testimony of the person who was robbed, which doesn't really count for too much when there is zero corroborating evidence for it. Man, no point of me trying to, trying to, uh, Help do pussy on a wild goose hunt to see who that is. And matter of fact, check them cameras. Y'all got crime scene investigation unit out there. Check the cameras. See him meet up with somebody else in the lobby. Ask him, hey, who is that? Ask him. Follow up on what I'm telling y'all. That's what we're trying to do. I mean, shit. It, it, I mean, shit. It, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I would expect people to act on common sense anyway. Y'all got plenty of sense. Y'all not stupid. Y'all the police, bro. I'm not. Do I look? Come on, bro. I don't know why I'm still talking, bro. I don't know why I'm still talking. I don't, bro. I don't. The baby did everything correctly in this interrogation and was rewarded for it. The criminal battery charge was dropped. He was still hit with a $6 million federal lawsuit over the brawl, but the jury eventually ruled in his favor. The fairly abrupt clip you just watched shows Quantrell Schwartzlow being put into an interview room and subsequently leaping out of the unlocked window. Apparently, Quantrell was left alone in the room for 14 minutes, and he used pretty much all of that time to run as far as he could from the police station. Oh, no! F***ing way! The officers were shocked to go into the room to find it empty, and immediately put out an APB for the man. It took them about four hours to find him, and he was apprehended in the 700 block of Yuba Street in Janesville. Schwartzlow pleaded not guilty in December of 2018 to two felonies, escape criminal arrest and strangulation or suffocation. He was eventually sentenced to two years in prison for each of those charges, totaling four years. This next case definitely shows an adult, and one that many people thought couldn't run away, literally. On March 7th, 2022, near a Little Rock courthouse in Arkansas, Joel Sanchez Delgado was assisted by an officer sometime after his arrest. He said that he needed help to get to the courthouse because of his wheelchair, and the officer obliged. Unfortunately, that may have made the officer a bit too comfortable. Hey, you see a shoe back there? Where is it? Oh, I'm gonna catch you, baby. I'll put a shoot up in there. As you can see, Mr. Delgado didn't actually need the wheelchair that he was being escorted in, because it allowed him to jump the railing and give him a good head start against the cop. We also hear the cop say that he's going to shoot Joel, which isn't a good look. Hey, can you call the police for me? Call the police for me. Hey, call the police. Call the police. Which way it go? This way? Phone. 
my damn radio came up. Hold on. The officer mentions that he doesn't have his radio and that he needs someone else's phone to call in for backup. This is unfortunate because it means it's going to take even more precious time to catch the guy. After all, he has to call someone, get transferred to the right person, and explain what happened instead of just using his radio. Hey, huh? The wheelchair dude got up and ran. Yeah. I couldn't catch his ass. And my radio was in the well, I had my camera on, though. I couldn't catch him. Yeah. I, I can't even remember his name. He on the run. All right. Which way you go? He straight. Straight, straight to the right. The officer is lucky that the random citizen saw anything, because otherwise he'd be out of luck for where to even start searching for the man. Even with a direction in mind, however, Little Rock is a big city. It's going to be difficult to find him. Dude, where am I? Yeah, where's my radio? Yes, he did. Dude, where is he? Yeah, yeah. Wait. He took yeah. off. Yeah, right straight up this street. Oh, yeah, man. Who took off? Yeah, the wheelchair took yeah, off. They say it went that way. See, my radio head came off in here. We gone. That is the light ticket for him. Nah, he gone. I couldn't. I, he he was, there was nothing wrong with it. He had a break so you couldn't catch him up there? He didn't have none of that on when he ran. No, he took it off and was gone. Yes. The feds. We can't go that way anyway. Drop the feds off. I couldn't catch that dude. He jumped the rail. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my camera, bro. Oh, bust that, uh, man. <laughs> He dropped the reel, kicked his, uh, his shoe head came off. I've been down to get his shoe. He just ran. He took off on him, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, he had a new brace. He couldn't move his arms. That's why I ain't coming. Yeah, that would get both. We're going to get rolled up. Yeah, I should have cuffed his ass. Yeah. And I, you know what? I thought about it. Touch upon my first mind, bro. The officer is correct. They absolutely should have cuffed the man to the wheelchair. And that is generally the correct procedure in most precincts throughout the country. They can't blame him, however, for thinking that a man in a wheelchair wasn't a flight risk. Luckily, Joel Delgado was indeed recaptured later that day, and sentenced to four years in prison after pleading guilty to theft by receiving. He was, however, approved for parole later that year, which is somewhat ironic after his escape attempt. If you want to be updated with these cases and what happens to the people after the fact, make sure to subscribe. I'll make sure to update you whenever there's a new development. Joel escaped after his interrogation had already happened, and he pretty much knew what he was going to be charged with. How's it going? How are you? Doing pretty well. Just FYI, the girl's already, the little girl's already crying. So okay. Hello. Hi. Department. On October 19th, 2021, Albuquerque police officers were called out to the Four Hills Studio apartment complex after receiving a 911 call about two very young kids being left alone. Their mother, whom they supposedly lived with, was nowhere to be found. The daughter was about seven years old, while the son was only nine months old. To protect their identity, the next clip will be audio only. What's going on, guys? Is everything okay over here? We got called out here to check up on you guys. It's okay. Nobody's in trouble. Yeah, nobody's in trouble at all. We're just going to talk to your mom when she comes back home, that's all. The children are terrified. Having the police come into their home while they're all by themselves is something that would scare any child, especially when they're this young. Hello, this is Officer Sean Delaney with the Albuquerque Police Department. Is this Samantha Sanchez? Well, I'm trying to get a hold of you because uh, I'm at your apartment with your unattended children and I was wondering where you were at. Okay, we'll see you shortly. How far out are you? We'll see you when you get here. The disdain in the officer's voice is obvious. These are two incredibly young children who should not be left unattended. It took Samantha about 20 minutes to get there after this phone call. What's that? What do you mean that I want? Yeah. Why are you here? Because you left your children unattended. They're fine. Yeah, but they're a little young. And so my daughter knows the drill. She knows to stay home. And but you can mind your business. And yeah. I could mind my business if there wasn't a violation of There's not a violation of a law. You just a need to mind your business. Old, no, a seven so year who old the fuck? Who the fuck told? You know what we know? Get away from my house. Okay, there's an officer inside your apartment. Is there? Yes, ma'am. Did you call the cops on me? No. 
Frank 523, we're walking up to the door. Excuse me, you can like take your tone down. Okay. In my so house. you don't need to yell at your kids house. because you left them here. Do you understand they're, that? She, they're taking care of they know better. They know better than yes. what? They know. They they always stay home. Can you and I talk outside, please? No, you can mind your business. Okay. I have the right point, to refuse. This is, a, this is a child abuse I investigation. Have the, okay, no, it's not an that? abuse investigation. They're not even been abused. Yes, it is no, an they're abuse. not. Leaving children this young alone for almost any length of time can constitute child abandonment or child endangerment, and both of those fall under the abuse umbrella. She shouldn't be as flippant as she is right now if she really cares about her kids, because these are severe charges that could have them taken away from her. This is a they're neglect not, they're not investigation. Abuse. They're not abuse. Not yet. Can you, like, come out? Go, in the, go inside. Yeah, I would like her to stay inside, and I don't want to see... I want her to see her mom upset like this. Can you come on? Because I want to talk. Did you call the cops on me? She didn't. Alright, Who called the over cops here. on me? First off, I want to know who called the cops on me. First of all, there's a few things we need to work out before you decide who which of your neighbors ratted on you. Yes, okay? who snitched on me? I want to know who it was first. And then second of all... So you don't see a problem with leaving your children no, in this No, because they've apartment. been here all the time. They do this all the time. And That's they're taking care of. So you're upsetting her and making her cry? Mm -hmm. and just walking down no, you can close my door and get out of my house. That's no, what you it's can. It's a criminal investigation. No, it's not. It's yes, not. Yes. Nothing's been criminally done. Actually, yes, this is no, a crime. No, it's not. Okay, well, I'm going to leave, sir, so um, you can, like... So are, are you requesting that uh, CYFD takes your children? Is that what you're requesting? <laughs> and if CYFD takes my fucking um, children, I will be suing the officers okay. and everything. So right, so do you right wanna, now, this is child abuse, okay? You what you've done here you is child abuse. Take the lawsuit. Yeah. Take the lawsuit. Okay, Absolutely. then get So are you wanting to go to jail? Is that what you're wanting? I'm not even doing anything wrong to my kids. My kids are taken care of. Okay. Everything's so, fine. So here's the thing. You're making her upset right Come now, here. okay? You can talk to her for a second, but we you need, to, leave my we need kids to sort this out. And leave them out of the no, you left your kids alone. They're and that's why fine. We're here. They have everything. They are fine, officer. She keeps bringing up the fact that her kids are fine, but there was every opportunity for something to happen to them while she was gone. She doesn't seem to realize that a crime has already been committed by her, and she's going to need to answer for it. Along with that, she's using the fact that her young daughter is upset to try to guilt the police into leaving, which is absolutely despicable. Even after this case, she did something awful to her children, which I'll tell you about at the end. Why are you picking on us? Oh, yeah, I guess if she's not going to cooperate. What is wrong? Okay. Why? No, so I here, don't want to be under we can, arrest. We can no. either have a conversation about this civilly, or you can go in the back of a police car. Do you understand how that works? Okay, well, let's talk, and you need to okay. dock your you voice down about so 20. Not upsetting her so much. I don't need to walk away from my doorway, sir. So, okay. let's talk. Go ahead and put your hands no, behind your back. No, I want to talk. Put your hands behind Don't pull away from us. Go to my car. Hurry, go to my car and tell Thurman to come get in the van, the baby. Hurry. Hurry, my car is on the I need another cop. I need another cop. This is ridiculous. You're Honestly. ridiculous! Why don't you mind your business? Stop pulling away from us. Stop oh, fighting. Get off of me now! Get off! Get on your stomach. Oh my god! <clears throat> Get off of me! This is child abuse by leaving him in there like that. Get off of me! Stop it. Get off! Let me up! Let me up now! The officers had to take her down to the ground because she began physically resisting them, and because of her size, it was difficult to get the handcuffs onto her while she was resisting. In the meantime, another unit was called in to assist. <laughs> Why are you guys so mean? I want to go out there. Listen, your kidding us, kicking us. Take deep breaths and try to relax. <laughs> Let me up off this nasty floor! We will. We will. Hang tight. Oh, why are you pulling it off of me? Stop picking up. You have to listen. Oh, why is this hurting me? Oh, this one's hey, hurting hey, my arm! It's not hey, moving! Hey, relax. hey, listen to me. Okay? Listen to me. I'm gonna loosen it. You better let you better comply, okay? I am! 
Mom! Or force will be on. used against you, okay? You guys are wrong! This is so unnecessary! No. What you did was unnecessary. No, he came at me the wrong they way! Let me go! This one's not too tight. Ah, oh, let me go! One. Her behavior in this situation matches exactly what everyone suspects of somebody who leaves their young children alone for hours at a time. She is acting petulant and trying to squirm her way out of a situation that she created, simply because she doesn't like the outcome. It shows just how much of a Karen she is. Oh, well, just let me get up! Okay. We'll get your phone, don't worry about that. I want my baby daddy to have my phone. Hey, and you hey. guys need to mm -hmm. stop minding your business. Tell this landlord to go away. Oh, these things are too tight. I'm not walking until they're looser. Well, we can't do it until we get the car, okay? I can't walk, they're too painful. Samantha, your daughter wants to know if she can have her phone. Would that be okay for me to get that for her? <laughs> I didn't even do anything wrong. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead! Just get my keys and my phone and go give it to my baby daddy! I can't do anything! Oh, no. How are you going to expect somebody to jump in? No, I you want that later, shit, Gary. I will uh, get my shit again. dismissed anyways. There you go. There's no evidence. Besides battery officer fucking fighting, that's it. The fact that you were in tears. Like no, there isn't. They'll be, oh, negative. They'll be dismissed. Oh, my cases are always good. dismissed. I'm sure the judge will love to hear you say that. Samantha was transported and booked on charges of battery on an officer, assault on an officer, abandonment of a child, and no driver's license. She ultimately took a plea deal where the charges of battery on an officer and no driver's license were dropped in exchange for pleading guilty to the assault and abandonment charges. Astonishingly, six months later, she was arrested after she shot her son's toe off during an argument with her boyfriend. In that case, she was charged with two counts of child abuse, to which she pleaded guilty. She faced up to nine years behind bars, but was given a suspended sentence of one year in jail and five years of probation. Plenty of people believe that she got off too easy. I need driver license insurance, please. I can't hear you. I need your window down. You're speeding. On October 26th, 2023, an Oklahoma woman was pulled over for speeding with her young child in the car. Normally, this would result in a ticket, and she would be on her way. Shelia Bingham, unfortunately, would make things much worse for herself. Do what? Okay, you got an idea on you? Okay, I need you to step out of the vehicle, then. Do what? I can't hear you. I can't hear you, ma'am. Can you roll the window down? Can you open your door so I can hear you? I do have my camera on. Can I have your okay. license insurance? You don't have it on? I do have it on. Can yeah, I have your driver's license? I'll call my supervisor. Can you call me? Can I have your driver's license insurance? Okay, I'll get one out here for you. We're driving because she's hungry. Okay, I get that, but the quicker I get your license insurance, okay, the quicker we can right get now. out of here. Okay. The quicker I get your information, right the quicker we can get out of here. Okay, she's Thank low. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. The woman claims that her daughter is hungry. Okay, I'll get one out here for you. We're driving because she's hungry. She's she's low. Low. Right low, which is likely referring to her blood sugar levels. That could be a genuine medical emergency, but there is no record of her daughter having any sort of diabetes or hypoglycemia, and it's more than likely just an attempt to get out of a ticket. That will not be happening because of her following actions. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Do you want me to call an ambulance for you? Would you like me to call an ambulance for you? Okay. My supervisor, would you like my supervisor? He's still on the way. Okay, would you like me to call an ambulance for you? Thank you. 
It's ironic that a woman who is currently running from the police bothered to stop at a red light. She's already going to be in much more trouble than a simple traffic violation. Eluding the police is a serious crime. They offered to call an ambulance if her daughter really was having a medical emergency, and she said no. That being said, however, medical attention can be very expensive, and it's understandable the hesitation when something as cheap and simple as food with sugar can fix the problem. Eastbound brat pulling into the gas station. No, he's trying to pull me out of my own vehicle. And I go. Let go of me, man. Let go of me. No, let let go of me. I'm not getting out of my car. I'm not going to get out. I'm not getting out of the car. I don't have to. She is required by law to get out of her car. She already has a lot of charges piling up against her, and this is just another resisting arrest charge to add to the pile. That being said, however, we have the foresight to know that the daughter has no known diabetic history. The cop doesn't. Whilst she clearly broke the law and should be dealt with accordingly, he could have accompanied the woman to get the daughter what could have been medically required food before carrying out the arrest. Helping, I'm trying to get her food. And, and I was I, driving I, the I same speed it, limit I, as everyone I else. It to you? You as took as my license the citation, and you were. You'd be good to go. I'm not doing that. I was going to write a quick citation. You were going to be good to go. D- dude, my daughter. And I understand that. And I offered to call IMSA for you. I don't want IMSA. To have her we don't out. contract with IMSA. I don't have money for it IMSA. A, it was. It was just to check on her to make sure she was okay. I have been doing this since she was five. I would like you to let go of my I'm arm. I'm not going to let go of your arm, man. Okay. okay. I guess we'll just remain here because I'm not getting out of my car and you're not jerking me out. So you can go write your citation and I'm going to get my daughter some food. We're past that now, so you decided to run. I didn't run, man. I don't contract with you. I gave you what you asked for and I asked you to come on because I have to get her food. I wasn't speeding. What's up, man? Oh, you know. You know, trying to get people that Thank we you. actually traffic with. You're a trafficker, and you've got me here breaking my arm. Because you probably traffic all the dope in here, don't you? Shelia Bingham would eventually be pulled from the car, but unfortunately it wasn't captured on body cam footage. Her charges aren't available for the public yet, as her trial is still ongoing, but hopefully her daughter is alright. In all of these cases, we've seen innocent young children being hurt by their mothers. In this next one, however, we'll see what it's like when a child grows up to be just like her mom. Um, what's your name? Are the other people gone already? No. Okay, where are the other people? Yeah, I just want to know your name so I know who I'm talking to. My name's Beeman. I'm sorry? Beeman. Okay, the last name. So, where are the other people? Um, she's inside. Okay, you're the one that called your. I'm sorry. Are you? No, I'm. That's my boss. Okay. Okay. Is um the owner of? Okay. You know the owner. On August 28, 2020, officers were called because a mother and her 28-year-old daughter went to a family member's job in order to address statements they made about each other on social media. Things were not proceeding in a very calm manner. But it's what happened was yesterday, it's been ongoing with the... Just, do you have a mask? Oh, yeah, sorry. Can you need to put it on, please? And, um, just so it started yesterday. April called my daughter's job. She didn't know. I Evidently, she didn't know April worked there. So she was asking about a hundred uh, linemen or I some, told her my some stuff. And um, so April started going off. There's witnesses that heard the whole conversation at her job. Then she goes while she's working and cyberbullying my daughter, talking about a nasty. Do you know what cyberbullying is now? Okay, that's my kid, okay? I will go to all lengths to protect my kid, okay? And so today, she, how many posts did she put? She made like five posts. Po- five posts, about job, talking about daughter, this and that, why she's working. 
Okay. And I come here. I didn't know she worked the front desk. I came here to ask for the editor because I'm tired of this. I'm sick of my daughter being bullied, okay, this by somebody concept. that doesn't even back up their words, okay? So she no, goes. No, so, I guess her boss is the one that called the other girls inside the citizen there. The one that did it is in there. Okay. okay. So the bottom line is, do I have any way to where we can file a restraining order, court for bullying? I don't know what the okay. law is. So this woman doesn't express what's happening very clearly and talks around the point quite a bit. But the gist of the situation is that the daughter and another girl who works at this location have been arguing on social media. Of course, in this mother's eyes, her daughter is doing no wrong. We'll see in a moment why that isn't the case. How old are you? I'm 28. Okay, so you're an adult, mm -hmm. and this is your mom, mm -hmm. and she's texting or putting stuff on social media about you, an adult. Mm -hmm. Okay. Adult? 28 years old. Not not like 17 or 18. She's, she's 28. I understand. Okay. So... Is the type of person what that was... she will succumb to it. Okay. Like I can go. Up, like she tells me to go kill myself. Basically. Yeah. Okay. I We're mean, gonna look at all that stuff. What was your intention of coming here today to, to her to job? Talk to the to ed the editor without calling the police to say, hey, what's your phone policy? Because you got an Harassing employee. On while she's on you got an hours. employee here. Okay. That is cyber bullying somebody while she's on the job. Okay. I didn't know she answered the phone. Then she opens the door and, what do you want? And I said, I want to speak to the other editor or something like that. And she says, all kinds of uh, Just, the lady should have a video. The and then she here. says, well, meet me at your parent's house after I get off work. And she hides behind the door. That's how bullies do. Wait a minute. Wait. You saw a glimpse into the Karen behavior there for a moment, where she tries to deflect from the fact that she showed up at somebody's workplace simply for something they posted on social media. Also, this is a 28-year-old woman who had her mother come to deal with her problems. That shows an unhealthy codependency. And then she opened the door, looked at me, she's like, Are you fat, nasty b Like, literally, yeah, I have I been dealing with this girl. She's called my job at the public defender's office. Any job I've had just because she just doesn't like me. Like, because this is my aunt's, I just don't know why. What is what is the background to all of this? Why? The background is she just comes for me. And she wrote my mom not too long ago, I mean, randomly out of nowhere, everybody. threatening to beat my mom's ass. Like, enough's enough. I want a restraining but order. She claims that she works at the public defender's office, but doesn't know the process for getting a restraining order? That seems strange and also makes it look like they came to this woman's job for retaliation rather than to talk. I know who you are. Well, now you have to go to the court. You don't right. do restraining order. No, I didn't know how it I don't know worked. how to approach that. Though. Okay. Yeah, that's why do I you figured. have the messages and stuff yeah, on I your phone? On Can we phone. see them? Yeah. But, um... In other words, like, she didn't just pick you out of thin air no. to start, like... No, no, oh, yeah, so no, there no, had to. Been, she picked her out of thin air Let yesterday. me talk to her, because, okay. because your mom, she's an adult. I know. Technically, she's the victim. You can't even file a report on her behalf, okay? Okay. So I need to hear what's right. going on from her. I'm sorry. Okay? So, and then she's writing my friend, threatening my friend to beat my friend's ass. My friend, is, she's like, who is this girl? And I was like, I have no idea. Um, All right. You've heard the events from this woman's perspective. Next, we'll look at the supposed harasser. Yesterday, I'm on my day off, and I called who which this history goes back a long ways. Mm -hmm. That one in the gray, in the shorts, the mother, mm -hmm. is my sister's sister-in-law. They don't like me. So I called who yesterday to get an alignment on my car. Um, when I first called, it was some girl named Kate who answered. No problem, whatever. Well, I get somebody to come look at my car. They tell me, you got to call Cooper's back to him. You need this. Make a long story short, I called back. She answers. She gave me attitude. Hung up the phone on me and all. So I, I know the owner, which is And I called me. Well, they didn't like that. So then I went on Facebook and I made a post and it said, Cooper, need to really evaluate um, the route they got answered on the phone. Mm -hmm. Their phone. Never once said a name, never once said anything. The daughter then goes and calls me from Cooper's and made, oh, you f***ing it up, whatever. Okay, I hung up. It is what it is. This morning, the mother calls my job to try to get me in trouble with my boss, which how can you get me in trouble at my work? Like, I yeah. never threatened you. I never did any of that. Whatever. Next, you know, they pull up here. 
She comes to the door. I didn't even recognize who it was because I sit behind this glass. So I come in, I'm like, what do you want? Open the door. When I open the door, her daughter tried to attack her and the daughter tried to attack me. So the daughter stands like this on the door and the mom's pulling, look at my elbow. So as I'm pulling the door, the mom gets in and slams the, elbow, my, the door on my elbow. My coworker that was here, Misty, she was a witness. She'll tell you what she's seen. And it's just been an ongoing thing. So they thought they were going to try me at my job is what they thought because yeah. they know that I'm here and they know I have restrictions. So that's what that stems from. Notice how calm, collected, and sure of her story this woman is. It's like light and day compared to the other woman and her mother, and that's because this is how the story actually went down. The other two thought that they could influence the police by speaking with them first, when the reality of the situation is that they came and attacked this woman at her workplace simply for leaving a review of how she was treated by the daughter over the phone. Can, can, can walk over here because your daughter's yelling. So, um, I, she opened the door and she said, what do you, what do you want? And I said, I'm here to speak to the editor. Can I come in? She said, you can't come in here. And I said, okay. Then she cussed at me and I cussed back. And then she goes and hides behind the door. She goes and puts, she goes and puts all this stuff on Facebook, you know? No, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the post. And then doesn't have the balls to even step out the door. And um, she said okay, so, something to so me and she, I said, you know She opened what? the door and she said that she told you that you're not allowed because pub public again. is not allowed to come inside. Yeah. And there's a sign oh, right there. I know, but when I came here, I didn't know that. Okay. But okay. I knocked on the door because there's got to be somebody you can talk to, you know. So um, she rambled on to me. I rambled off to her. She told me to meet me, meet her at my dad's house so she could beat, your, beat my ass. And I said, oh, go ahead and hide behind the door then. She's doing this all while she's at work. And what happened after? She went inside. I don't know. The lady has it on film. It went too quick. Notice how the mother is specifically leaving out the fact that she slammed the door on the other woman's elbow because she knows it'll make her story look bad. She went to a private business, which is allowed to refuse entry to anybody, and then assaulted the woman working because she wouldn't let her inside. That's when I called you all. Because I wanted to speak so to what, the what, editor what, because she's going what, to my daughter's job. She's calling why, my daughter's why job. Why at that point you call the cops? Because I wanted to see if we, um, if I could get her, if it's cyberbullying, if somebody could talk to her and get her to stop. I don't. I need some help here because this girl does this to everybody. Did, she did it to her brother, her sister-in-law. She's a miserable soul. Did, she, you, did, did you push the door when she was trying no, to close it? You no. didn't push the door at all? No. I Pull the door, push the door, anything? I don't believe so. Now, it's on film. You can what film? check. I don't know. Somebody was filming. But um, Who was filming? not that I'm aware. I don't know who she is. Some chick. Uh, that's in here? No, she wrote off on a bike. She keeps bringing up the fact that this was recorded, but then has no idea who was recording, or if they're even still around. The police can't check a recording that they don't have, and this Karen is using this to her advantage to try to make her story sound more credible. Okay, because I have a witness that uh, she works here too, uh -huh. says that you push, you push the door closed, you shut it. No. Hard. I, no. You said you didn't recall at first. I, no, I don't. Because she was trying to close the door. I, I, I knew this would come and then, on me. Okay, but, and then she was like in the middle trying to make, make it not shut, and then she said that you slammed the door. I know I didn't. I don't recall. I, I know I didn't, but if I say I did you know what I'm saying? Because the things were going quick there, and I'm pissed off. Okay? She's in the wrong and now we're going to be ridiculed for it. Leaving messages on social media, no matter how bad, does not give someone the right to go to their workplace and assault them. It's absurd that this woman thinks she's in the right. You gotta understand, you're coming to her workplace. That's not the, the, the way to do it. Okay, so how would I have done it? If you, like you said, you want to restrain anyone, you go to the courthouse. And, you know, she'll get served and she'll know not to contact you or come near you. But you don't come to her workplace because that's going to cause more problems. Okay. I'll take the law into my own hands next time. Okay, well, she got hurt in the process of you pushing the she door. Did not. Okay. No, 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 come, come over here. I'm, I'm not done talking. 
No, she did not. Well, she has a cut from when she allegedly, was being you, allegedly. Pushed, you pushed the door and they have a witness that you pushed the door, causing her to strike the corner there and cut herself when she was pushed. I, would, I did not push her. No, that you pushed her, not her. I, I, didn't, I wasn't here to hurt nobody. I was not here to hurt nobody. Okay. okay. I'm here to solve something that has been ongoing. My daughter's being bullied on the internet. And I, can't, I didn't know she worked the front door. Even if all of this was true, and even if she didn't mean to hurt anyone, she still did. Actions matter more than intentions in the eye of the law. We have a witness. She's claiming that she was hurt when you pushed the door and she I saw the cut mm -hmm. on the elbow. And she does want to press charges. Okay. Okay. So what, I'm going to jail? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Turn around. Come here. Turn Dad, around. Dad, Turn I'm around. going to jail. Because it says I pushed the door. So you could go ahead and leave me there. Yeah. I got it. I'll take care of that. Hey, can you zip that? Yes, ma'am. Hey! Stop! 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 Give me your hand. You're not gonna do this. Do you understand me? He's arresting my mom! He didn't do anything to me! I promise he didn't do anything! He's recording me right now! The whole thing's been recorded, okay? This is enough. You are a grown adult. I can't handle it. Something thing is on my own. I'm sorry. Okay. Your mom does not need to be here involved in all of this. And I understand that this is an ongoing family issue. Whether you consider her family or not, it's family. The woman's mother was indeed arrested and taken in. But because names were censored, there isn't any information online about what happened after the fact. It's likely that she got off with a slap on the wrist, which is unfortunate. But it's the way these things seem to go sometimes. With this next case, there is no debate about it. The woman is just a terrible parent. So we've got a little girl inside. Her mom was here earlier. Okay. She looks just like her mom. She was immediately welcomed. She's like, why is there a little kid here? Because I, I actually got under my seat and I was like, brought their kid to a bar this thing. And I realized she's just missing. She mm -hmm. just doesn't know her mom. Is. Mom's name is Victoria. Um, I've tried calling her mom several times. I've actually tried asking her last names and going on Facebook and finding, maybe trying to find mutual friends. I've tried everything, guys. What's the, how'd you get the phone number? She's actually a regular here. She actually used to work here a long time ago. The girl's mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but that's, that's, that's it. Gotcha. But, I mean, I, I have, I have tried everything. You have an address for her? I don't. Okay. Um, you don't have her last name? The, I think probably the little girl does. Yeah. I, I, I think I, ha I had the, the dad's <laughs> last name. I have a, a solid phone number, so I didn't ask for the last name. In October of 2023, a Florida bar called the police when an unaccompanied little girl walked into the bar without any idea where her mother was. The young girl said that her mom had left her in the car and then gone off somewhere, though she didn't know where. This was at around 2 in the morning, way past the bedtime for a 7-year-old. Chris. How you doing? I love your little pumpkin. <laughs> uh, yeah? Okay. Where'd you walk from? Um, I walked from my car. Alright, this is on you guys. We're out. <laughs> right. It's okay to tell us where you came from, okay? Do you want to sit in that comfy booth with them? Do you want to yeah. sit with us? Yeah. It's okay. Where's your SpongeBob ice cream? It melted. It melted? You let it, you let them just melt all away? Uh, what's your mom's name? Um, her name is Veronica Roxanne. Veronica, what was the last name? Oh, yeah. Roxanne. Bell. Bell? Okay. You're awesome at this. Where's your mommy at? Sit next to me if you need to, okay? You don't know? You said you walked from your car. Yeah, because, um, she, I fell asleep during it and then she has a bed there ever since. But my mom said it wouldn't be long and then she, um, after like five to ten minutes, she she just haven't came back. Okay. Where is your car around here somewhere? Um, yeah, it's over there. I can show you it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Easy way to solve this. 
run the tag on the car, get mom's name, get mom's address. This little girl is lucky that the people working at the bar that night were vigilant and friendly. There are some rough areas of Florida, and it's incredibly unsafe for a little girl to be walking around that late at night. I know we're around here. It's okay. okay. You show us wherever it is, okay? These guys are just helping us. Okay? Okay. You should be in any of these buildings. It's okay. She walked off to one, but I can't see where because she turned the lights off. Okay. Has this ever happened before? Um, no. She never leaves the car without me. No? Okay. She said it's something really important. And she said it would be a real quick when it hasn't because it was like, was like five to ten minutes. Which way did you say she walked? Um, I couldn't see because she turned the, the lights off every single one. There's quite a bit of controversy online over whether or not this was indeed a first time thing. Most people don't think so, because of the girl's calm demeanor and the fact that she isn't scared whatsoever. It could be a conditioned or taught response, or the girl could just think that the other situations were different because her mom did come back quickly. Um, she has a purse that goes around here and it's like, um, to here, and then she wears it right mostly around here or here, mm -hmm. and then she has her phone in it, but she didn't bring her phone, right? Mm -mm, what no, color was her right shirt, there. maybe? Do it you was, know what, what was like, it, like pink, purple? Like long sleeved white. Long sleeved long white? white? Was she wearing pants? Um, no. No? What was she wearing? Um, she was wearing a long sleeve shirt, mm -hmm. and then she wore, um, she wore some shorts. Wore some shorts? shorts? Like shorts like me? Um, yeah. Like this? Pink like black. little shorts, tight yeah. shorts. Yeah. Found her. She, uh, <laughs> let's head back to her car to get her dog. Where from? Um, another car. Which car? Um, over there. Okay. You realize it's 6 30 in the morning, right? I, I do now. And you realize that your daughter, seven? Yes. Seven years old, has been by herself with us for four? I do know. For four hours? I do know. You know, you understand my frustration with this whole situation, I do. right? What on God's green earth were you doing that your daughter is here by herself at seven years old, where she's terrified and goes into the bar? and asks random bar people to help and call the police. I have no idea. I'm sorry. So, sorry ain't going to cut it. She said she was in a car somewhere over there. Okay. Can you show us? Yes. Absolutely. someone's car you don't even know. I have, I have no idea. You understand how this looks, right? I do. What's your uh, drug of choice? My, my drug of choice is alcohol, but like, I, I, I don't know. I ended up in the car. I just woke up in the car. The police here suspect that a worse drug than alcohol is being used because this has the hallmarks of something like narcotics. She woke up in a random car that she didn't know after leaving her daughter alone for more than four hours. The story is suspect at the very least. So, like, all I, all I know is I, I came here to meet friends, um, and then I, I woke up in the car. Yeah, Renan. I, I came here to meet my friend Renan, and then I woke up in that car. That's all I know. I, I, I really didn't mean to meet, leave my seven-year-old alone in the, in the car. I would never do such a thing. I mean, her, right. her, her dad mm. died last year. He was murdered. He was stabbed in, in, in the in the heart, um, like, I would never try to leave my seven-year-old alone. So, when you met your friends here, Renan? Yes. When you met Renan here, did you go into the bar? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Did you have a drink? Yes. 
What was the last thing you remember? The last thing I remember is me and my friend were not here and then having a drink and that's it. But like, I mean, I'm not an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, it, it shouldn't have knocked me out. But you I feel, don't know why I was in that car. Do you feel like maybe you were violated in any way? I don't know. Like, I woke up in a car that wasn't mine. I woke up in a situation where I, I didn't know where I was at. Um, were your clothes on? My clothes were on, yes. Um, my clothes were buttoned, yes. Um, but um, I don't know how I ended up like this. It should be noted that Veronica was tested for the most common roofie type drugs, and all of the tests came back negative. Unfortunately, her drug tests have not been released publicly online. Okay, this so, three drinks, so I, I am have no idea. trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yes, sir. All right, because me as a parent, I have a son, and I would never, in my right mind, do right. anything like that. I mean, I have a so, GCF case, you know what I mean? Like, I, I would never, you know what I mean? But I, I, I honestly, officer, I, I have no idea how I got to this point, literally. You know, like, what woke me up is girls' bright lights, you know, like, I, I, I've never been, like, I mean, all I drink was beer. I, I had three beers. So, I remember getting here, I remember having a beer, and then that's it. I don't know how I woke up in a car that looks like mine. I mean, it's very similar to mine. Um, and leaving my daughter, you know, it was supposed to be just a very brief interaction and I was supposed to go And then, so I have to ask, yes, sir. not wearing any shoes, yeah. which is fine. I mean, I people don't wear no <laughs> But your flip tops are in your car. So yes, did you go into the bar with no shoes on? Uh, I mean, I had to have, um, but like I said, it was supposed to be a, a very brief interaction. And I was supposed to Veronica Elliott was charged with child neglect without great bodily harm which is a third-degree felony, she faces up to five years in prison and a $5,000 fine if she is convicted. Her trial is still ongoing, so if you'd like to be kept up to date with it, subscribe to my channel. I'll make sure to keep you guys informed on the events of all of these cases. There is some debate over whether Veronica truly meant to leave her daughter alone for so long. We're conducting an investigation. I need you to step out of the car. You're not going anywhere, okay? You understand? Nope. You're gonna you're gonna step out of the vehicle right now, please. Thank you. On July 8th, 2023, police officers in Illinois responded to a call involving a mother engaged in an argument with her son. That was all the information they were provided over the phone. One officer went off to talk with the son to see what happened, and during that period, Donna began to get agitated and eventually became uncooperative. She walked away from the officer towards her house, intending to leave the situation without answering any questions. Why don't you have a seat on the ground? You asked for me. You, you asked me for some ID, yes uh -huh. or no. Well, because you have your purse I on you. went to go get you some ID. I've got enough for. Yesterday. I was not. I was. Could I go get him see. some ID? I don't need an ID right now, ma'am. I'd really appreciate it though if you could hang tight for a second. Can we do that, please? I would really appreciate he that. Ask me for some ID. I understand. I yeah. am trying to comply with the person who has threatened to arrest me if I do not comply. Well, ma'am, I'm here now. And Can I'm asking, I no, no. get no. my ID? No, ma'am. I'm asking you nicely to please just take a minute right here. Um, I've got a video. He wants me injury. to get so my ID. If this is going to go south, we can just uh, hook He her wants me to get um, some ID. May I get some ID? Uh, no, I, I don't yes have that. or no? He, do you no, have that on your but if, video? But if she's that he, continue like this, do you have do that on your video so. that he asked me for some ID? No, ma'am, I was not present. Ma'am, what's your name? This Karen is showing just how much she refuses to listen to anybody telling her her anything. She clung to the fact that the officer asked her if she had her ID on her, 
and instead of following the new instructions given to her, she continually asked to leave to get her ID, because she knew that it would make her look like she has some control over the situation. Well, she doesn't, and the behavior just comes off as annoying. I'm comfortable with the video I just watched and with the obvious signs of injury. I I will this is why you're under arrest right now. Why? You're under arrest for domestic battery. I need you to stop tensing up. I need you to stop tensing up. Ma'am, Why? I need you to stop. Domestic battery because why? I need you to stop. Please tell me why I am on purse. Please tell me why I am Ma'am, I advise you. Domestic battery. Are you taping this? Of course we are. Are you taping this? You told me you were taping this. We are. Are you taping this? Yes, we are. Let go of your Why I am I under arrest for domestic battery? Don't I grab have my hand. asked Let multiple Don't grab times. My hand. I have asked multiple times. I've got a Why I am under arrest You're gonna hurt for yourself. domestic You're gonna hurt battery? Yourself, ma'am. You're gonna I don't hurt want Could someone tell me? Anyone? I have a video and obvious signs of injury, ma'am. That's why you're under arrest right now. Please give your names for the video. A lot of people have pointed out online that her speech and cadence match exactly what an angry, abusive parent would sound like when talking to their kids. Her son is the one who called in the dispute, which likely took a lot of bravery considering it was his mother who injured him. I'm like holding your body up over here. Not. Ma'am, do you have anything on you that I need to be concerned about? Any knives, okay. needles? Uh, I would just get her ID or something in the wallet yeah. out of there because they're not going to accept the whole purse at county most likely. No, yeah. She was starting to walk inside for her ID, so I doubt it's in here. But, uh, Are you able to stand up without me supporting just, you? You know, just bring that whole thing because if she needs a credit card to bond out. No. Okay, okay. we're not going to play the game. Listen. Recovery position. Here we go. Here we go. Ma'am, are you okay? I'm gonna get a bus. Oh, one second. Stand by, Sarge. Eyes are open. Yep. Okay. Are you gonna walk like an adult? I mean, she's breathing. She's fine. Yeah. Come on up. Let's get her in the car. What's her name? Oh, no. Never got that. ID? Oh, that was an ID. Oh, I have her. Yeah, I do have her ID. Let her take a rest. Donna, I can see you moving. Donna, we know you're okay because you're breathing and your eyes keep opening. So let's get you stood up. Let's get you to the car. It's a pretty common theme for these Karens to act like a petulant child whenever they don't get their way. This is a woman who has probably never been told no in her life. Okay. Come on, Donna, we're walking. We're moving your feet just fine. There we go. Good job. Um, we can both carry your shoulders say, if you carry your feet. Yep. Right? Right, boss. Yep. You want to grab her feet? Yeah, I'll grab her feet. Can you just circle around, maybe? Or, you know, I can do the feet if you want it in the back. Go oh, I definitely don't no. feel comfortable having it be yeah, face no, down. Not that way. Okay. I'm going to make that. Not that way. Alright. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to stretch or move. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Make this a little easier. Got it. Oh, keep moving her leg away from me. This is like one of those bad videos for soccer when they can't carry a player off the field. Well, I want to support both of her shoulders. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll see yeah. that. Get help her here. Did you tell? I still need, uh, need him. Yeah, I just told him to Hang tight. bring okay. her purse. And oh, purse. Got it. Okay. The officers are being quite nicer than most would be in a situation like this. She's being deliberately uncooperative and will absolutely be charged with resisting arrest, but most would not have carried her that nicely. You're walking, job, Donna. You're walking. Uh, I'd ask if you want to see Donna, you're adding charges here. 
you're resisting. Passive resisting is the same. Donna, you need to... Rubber 22, I just need one more person because she's twice my size. Just need one person to help me. 22, I'm en route to the jail. Could you please tell me why I'm under arrest? Could you please tell me why I'm under arrest? Not one single person has told me why I am under arrest. Well, she's definitely wrong there. In fact, three officers have told her why she's under arrest. You're under arrest why? for domestic battery. She just elected to not listen to them and is now repeating the same question over and over again in the hopes that it'll get her somewhere. Classic Karen behavior. What is your name, officer? The one who has arrested me and who is driving me to jail. Please provide your name for the tape. Okay, we all know that everything in this car is taped, and now we know that this female officer who has blonde hair in a bun and who has earrings that hang down to her shoulders, and I do not know her name, but we all know that this officer is not willing to provide her name even though she is driving me to the police station on a friday afternoon in july and she is saying that i am under arrest but there is absolutely no record of an arrest and i will be suing the naperville police office for this arrest and this officer is part and parcel of that. There is absolutely no grounds for my arrest. Dear God, tell me again why I'm in your car. Donna was arrested, but unfortunately there isn't any record of her exact charges online yet. This only happened about half a year ago, so it's likely that the trial is still ongoing. What isn't ongoing is that lawsuit she promised, because there is no record of a suit being filed against the officer or the station. This is a woman who beat her son and was finally arrested for it. Hopefully, he's doing alright. There are plenty of bad parents out there, and seeing them act like Karens in front of the police just shows even further how bad they are at their jobs. It's always good to see them get arrested for their ridiculous behavior.